Hello and welcome to session number 67 of Outlander's Guide to Ladaria. Hi! Hello! Hello! Oh my goodness! Ah, l listen to all the, these voices. All my friends are here. There's all one them? more voice than usual lately. He's an extra voice. It's like I can still hear him. <laughs> Here's the table. Welcome back. Welcome back to Outland the Sky to Ladaria. And welcome back, especially to Matt. Hello. You may have noticed Hello. that you have a pile of dice on your table. Yeah. Courtesy of Jory. That's that's actually helpful. <laughs> put some a, stuff into context, yeah. actually. Yeah. That, that actually a, really helps it. It's it's this is in game days, right? Like it's been a week. How is he not toppling over when the first die is so offset? I'm good at this. <laughs> it really is Remind just like, never to but you didn't really offset it yeah. back the other way. It's just continuously to the right. <laughs> yeah. Or, or, or you know, whatever. Of, uh, I must miss you, by the way. <sighs> okay, well, let's put you to work immediately, Matt, shall we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You weren't here last session, so why don't you tell us what you think happened? <laughs> I wasn't here for several sessions, so uh, as far as you I can understand... can make it all up. Uh, uh, Pontifex got his wand back. Uh, it turns <laughs> out that the King of the Skies is actually his mom. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Dragon Chess is actually the key to unlocking all of the secrets of the world. Damn, you're that good. Sounds right. Yeah, that's what I remember. It. It's sort of like mystical math, <laughs> but that's like you know what I would imagine a, a fun game would be. But I, I do have another alternative version that's oh, less, a likely, less fun one, but <laughs> a less likely oh, version. Excuse me. <laughs> me. <laughs> the Pontifex gets his wand back. Is is Matt's power fantasy? So <laughs> mm. we can we can move past that one. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, last session. It's gonna sound really funny because there's gonna be a bunch of words and names that you guys have never heard me interact with, <laughs> but I have read. Uh, after the party freed Noah, uh, he uh, led them outside of the glass castle to a secret stash in the dream realm which Brooke did dream stuff that he can just do uh, to help him get it. And then Noah realized that his thingamajig was gone. Uh, so he went back to the party. Um, and then they learned a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, they learned about uh, when the uh, Ladarians are ready to die. They come to the glass castle, as we knew. Uh, but their heart is removed and they are trained in, in all the stuff, uh, the language and, and medicine and all that stuff. Uh, and they remove their hearts to get rid of all the emotions so that they're little machines to do their jobs. Uh, and they just don't talk about it because it's necromancy. Uh, that's It's just necromancy, and people don't like that. Um, we learn that the, the, the Ezen's hearts continue to function after they're removed for reasons, uh, and they bury <laughs> them also for reasons. Uh, and that uh, if the heart dies, they actually die. Um, and they're just everywhere for no particular reason. Um, and also, <laughs> we don't know well why they get small. It's a well-constructed campaign. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know why the hearts get big or attack things either. Uh, but it's fine. Um, and, uh, uh, oh, they learned about the, the, the creation mythos uh, of the dragon, a cloud weaver, who could just make stuff. He just ignored every law of alchemy. Uh, and he decided to make a dragon city in the sky uh, because it's cooler than on the ground. Uh, and that also the dragons, uh, their crystals and stuff are just like bits of them, like their lives and stuff. Uh, and that he got one from Cloudweaver or one that belonged to Cloudweaver. Uh, called the Crystal of Creation. And it allows you to, again, uh, it's, we can just call it a Philosopher's Stone and then we all know what it means. Um, and he's trying to make money. Uh, that uh, and, oh, and the, the the philosopher's stone has to sleep for a long time before you can use it again. Um, then he promised the party that uh, once he gets the gem, uh, he's just gonna give it to them uh, as long as he helps him find it. That's totally gonna happen. 
and he believes that the only person that could have taken it is the person who can enter the realm of dreams, uh, which is a plurnan with pointy ears, spoilers, uh, who can magic and dream walk. Uh, and he thinks that that guy has the gem or growl. Uh, and he also talked to a person who owns the castle slash makes it work uh, called Yiskasek uh, and said, don't worry about her because uh, she's like bound to stuff and she shouldn't be able to interfere and it's probably fine. Don't worry about it. There's no reason she has a name. Let's ignore it. Um, then the party <laughs> asked Orm about all of it and he said, yup. Uh, and he, he said, that's all true. And he said, yup, they messed the, uh, they, they met with Yiskasek, uh, who, who was described as with wings and very big, uh, super big. <laughs> uh, and that Jamil built one of his doors in the same tower uh, that Noah said that they live in. Uh, so then they went to steal the crystal back from the outsider. Uh, they poked around and eventually reached the floor with a giant checkerboard carpet and brown and red squares that no one here has ever witnessed ever once in their life, except every time the pawn effects is around. Uh, and they see the big dragon chest pieces and they get attacked by dragon chest, which is just a nightmare made manifest. <laughs> and they figure out attack patterns of dragon chess because none of them really know how to play it, sort of. I think one person does. I think Brooke. Uh, yep. <laughs> Thank God for Brooke. They figure out how to play dragon chess the hard way. Uh, <laughs> and man, it would have been convenient if like the dragon chess grandmaster was like maybe there. Uh, and they cleared the first board and are about to move up to the middle board and deal with that fun stuff. And I think that's where, it's, where it ended, like in the middle of the business. That is indeed where it ended. Doozy wow. session, apparently. Yeah, no, my notes are immaculate. I take full credit. <laughs> <laughs> here's your... Yep. Here's your inspiration oh, for a job well done. Inspiration! <laughs> 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 for my entirely original thought uh, and me watching the stream uh, religiously to see everything that happened in my very totally not busy life. Uh, I'm glad that you guys can see all the commitment that I put in. I appreciate it. It was beautiful. Thanks, man. Joy worked very hard on this for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, clearly you worked almost <laughs> as hard on this stack as I did on a... Uh, on the recap. If, if you want, Thanks, you can mother. knock it over and I won't even be mad. Oh? Yeah, it's for you. <gasps> yeah. Woo! <Aww. laughs> Immediate. The All I did was relief. just roll the bottom dice and it just rolled a one and everything <laughs> fell over. <laughs> I'm sure that's not huh? a bad omen. Not sure well, one. crap. Okay. Well, then. Uh, as uh, explained by Matt... Uh, the previous session ended right as the party was uh, um, heading to the next floor and dealing with the next uh, uh, set of dragon chess pieces. So, uh, let me turn the grid back on. And... All right, who did their homework? Uh oh. <laughs> we're, about, we're about to find out. <laughs> um... Scrolls up, scrolls up. I am going to immediately invite you all to roll initiative. Uh, Matt, just roll it and just tell me what number you have. And we'll work with that. Uh, you guys Fancy. enter the board from the left side. So you can be on any of these squares here. <laughs> roll. This row, Austin. But but they behind came up this first. line. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. They're shadowy. Okay. They went through the ceiling. <laughs> okay. How do I play this game? As I was testing things. Uh, Earlier this morning, I realized that the previous floor, the one you were just on, is broken. Like, the script is destroyed. It doesn't load. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm like, okay, as long as it's the one we just did, probably fine. Probably fine. 
<laughs> what do I have? <clears throat> this is the wrong stat block. Hey, there we go. Oh, I am scared. I have Ooh. so many minis. My <laughs> initiative so tracker many, many. looks ridiculous because I... <laughs> <laughs> I have so many. I like your little people. armada in front of your DM screen, just defending your notes. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, don't you dare peek behind the screen. What? I'm gonna peek now. No. These are these are for tracking initiative. <laughs> no. Uh, also, well. there are pieces that weren't in the in the. Descriptor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New pieces. Spooky. I think these are all uh, oh, elemental, elemental and dwarf. These oh, yeah, are, are from the, from the <laughs> bottom uh, board. Some yeah, of them move They started up. from the bottom, now they're here. <laughs> if you look uh -huh. at my diagram, uh, you can oh. see the dwarf. What? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Uh, I tell you, most pieces move differently when they are on different board. Yo. Uh, <laughs> so well, it, apply, this will be, <laughs> it will it will it will be a mystery <laughs> what what is actually going on here. I I I have no idea what's actually going on here. <laughs> oh no! Who are we missing? Brook, Sunny, Pip, Squeak. What? Oh yeah. Sorry. I got and distracted. Matt's Carter is Aww, 13. I did the wrong thing. That's I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. I need to roll for my pangolin also. My my pangolin representative. Yeah, your representative <laughs> over here. There we go. <laughs> Why are they badgers? <laughs> I never have a pangolin! Badgers mini. are so much more menacing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing what I can. Instead, the size of his guy shoe, but there's eight of them. This man's never been so flanked in his life. We have perfected the unlock method of playing Dragon Chess. Yeah, just picking a unit, surround them on all sides. Secret strategy. That's funny. You bring pangolins. Okay, and we have. Matt, Te Tekka, this is how you win against Pontifex next time. <laughs> <laughs> you just threw the rules I brought Bring out Ollie, and Ollie just knocks it over. <laughs> Imagine showing up to a chess tournament in real life and be like, hey, I brought some of my own pieces. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Take out eight pangolins <laughs> from your backpack. <laughs> I brought them for my scissors and electing to choose gun and insisting <laughs> it's a viable strategy. <laughs> you know, just pet backpacks for like cat Cats and small dogs with like the bubble in front, but like you see a person <laughs> walk by and you just see eight pe <laughs> pangolins just squished in there. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, <laughs> we're starting with Squeak. Oh boy! <laughs> All right. You guys have very, um, like, w weirdly <clears throat> close initiatives, so it's a bunch of my pieces, then all of you guys are a bunch of my pieces again. <laughs> This is the worst. This is the worst possible distribution. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do this. Squeak. <clears throat> uh, Squeak's going to hold his action to th to throw. He's going to hold an attack action. That's it. Oh no! It's already me. Yeah. Okay. All it's right. You, like, a lot. Here we go. We're starting with the hardest one, where it's like, oh, it can move like this, and also it jumps over stuff. Where the hell? Okay, the, the, here is the flag one. There's one here, uh -oh. and one here. Marvelous. Uh -oh. What do they do? Uh -oh. uh, we can capture one or two steps diagonally. Well, uh -oh. and can uh -oh. pop over pieces. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Um. So. What this means for quote unquote ranged attacks, uh, since the hero can't like physically move where you're occupying a space, so it means it's going to chuck a javelin at you, Pip. Oh! 
That didn't sound very professor like. <laughs> this is uh, against uh, the rules. <laughs> the 16 hit pip? <laughs> you cheat. Yeah. Okay, that's 11 points of piercing damage. Oh. Uh, from being hit by a pr an especially oversized javelin. Um, oh. Oh, wait, I forgot my board. I need that. She forgot her dragon chest board. <laughs> Poor you. immersion. No, my whiteboard. <laughs> yes, no, this I have really a, I have an actual my, board. This really puts my books in a bind. <laughs> Is Pip just role playing? Is the first <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Love that. He did uh, call me an fish lady at one point, so. Then I have um. <laughs> My boy. Marvelous. I have a natural one on the second attack on Pip. That does not hit. Yeah. O on the In second one, just know. just Brooke pulls him a little bit, like, just grabs him, pulls him against him. The second javelin just flies and lands at the Virion's feet, uh, and you're fine. Uh, this other here... Uh, is it only diagonal? One or two yeah. steps diagonally. Ah, uh, that's uh, head this way. I have no idea if it's probably blunder. No, idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blunder. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> okay, there's only one here per side, if I remember correctly. So we're moving on to the warriors, where he said there is a bunch of them. Also, I should do white pieces first. I guess I don't know. So warriors, <clears throat> they're essentially a chess pawn. Stun locked. Uh, yep. Stun locked. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so, nothing, nothing. Oh, they're not numbered! Can you guys number them for me? Would you be yeah, so kind yeah. while I figure sure, this sure, out? Sure. This one is stuck. Uh, there's one here that can move forward. Then... Oh, Pip. Pip! No! Hit this! Holds up, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Uh, dirty 20 to hit Pip. Yeah. That's uh, 10 points of piercing damage. Um, total blunder here. Wait, no, I can't attack the pangolins. What am I doing? Ah. Oh my god! I can't no. attack the pangolins? No! This has never happened before! <laughs> Did it attack both of them? Um... Uh, Hold on, I actually wrote this down. Yeah, I guess, is that a question? Like, if one attacks oh, this yes. green space that Brooke and Sunny are oh, both on, does it attack So then both Squeak of them? would have taken both of those hits. Oh, Squeak too, is right? here! Yes. Yeah. It's, a, it's a separate attack. Oh, it's an attack yeah. per. But it, the worry does too, so that's essentially four attacks. So. I <laughs> say so we all oh. pile into one square. Either attack <laughs> all of us or none of us. <laughs> we did skip this one? I skipped this one. This can also attack diagonally. Ah, oh my god! Was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The the white piece. Um, or let's finish black, I guess, because we have two attacks on squeak too. Uh, so we have a. Uh, that's incorrect. We have a ten and a natural twenty. Uh, on on squeak. On squeak. Yeah, the natural twenty hits. Ow. That's 15 points of uh, his slashing damage. Okay, he's resistant to that. So, it is indeed uh, not magical. Seven. Okay, now we're doing all those attacks with a white warrior as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's two. Wait, why am I doing two? Oh, it's a warrior, it only does one attack. Okay. Let me get my brain. <laughs> Let me get my brain working. It's a hero that does Pips two attacks. The warriors only do one. It's just a bloody mess on the ground. <laughs> just after all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The crate was the second one on Squeak, so you can undo that. It's not happening. Oh, okay. Um. So the the black warrior is resolved, and we're left with the white warrior. The wawa. Well, <laughs> I'm supposed to do one attack from both of them for each of you. Uh, 
Okay, yes. White Warrior. It rolled twice. That was on Squeak. It was just supposed to do once. Right? Yes. Uh, okay, I think. Were, were you rolling for the hero first? The... Against Squeak? I haven't even gotten to the heroes attack <laughs> against Squeak. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're working so, backwards to this find out one. How yes, <laughs> we, we, we got it. We got it. We got it. I just need to get in the groove. Can you believe I practiced this so it would be smooth? I know you can't. Uh, it was an 11 <laughs> hit squeak. No. Okay. So now we have the hero, which is <laughs> an 8 and a 15. The 15 hits. Okay. Yeah. We got it. We're back on track. This is terrible. <laughs> This is awful. <laughs> what? That's seven points of piercing damage. Resistant. Okay. So it's now three. Back to the warriors. The... We did this, we did that. This um, one attacked me, this one did not. Fine. I did you resolve I, I resolved on this on one. You did, okay. Okay. And now Pangolin attack. <laughs> uh, almost. We're gonna eat this thief. And they are smashing each other to pieces when they do this. They are like Dick. just whacking. There's pieces of wood and metal gears flying everywhere. Uh, it looks like it would hurt to step on. How did you get hit by? Huh. Yeah. Huh. That's, a, that's a good exchange in favor of white. Okay. Uh, now we have a dwarf. I believe it's just a single black dwarf over here who uh, has come from the board below and it is going to capture a thief. Yeah. Whoa. Good dwarf. Now the paladin, there is one per side. Uh, so we're. Unless white doesn't have his. Uh, Both have uh, white does, yeah. Uh, White's yeah, in the back over is. here and black. Nice, over here. delightful paladins. Move and capture. It's <laughs> like a king and a, and a knight combined, essentially. Yeah, it's every adjacent um, square, like every square next to them, and then also the like arrow corners. Uh, let's come towards the party and eat a dwarf on the way. <clears throat> uh, and this one. Night style. Okay. Now the menace that is that are these pangolins. Time. <laughs> Eight attacks at advantage. Uh don't get extra damages. Yeah, yeah, extra damage. For all of them? <laughs> They're all within twenty-five feet of your end. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> I position myself tactically. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> Which is just shepherd the penguins. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> been the, the strategy. <laughs> They're surprisingly well coordinated. <laughs> okay, hit, hit. You need to just put them all on 25 foot leashes. I'm <laughs> here like death for yeah. It's a miss. Hit. It. This is insanity. Yeah. <laughs> this is what are these rolls? They're so good. <laughs> One more. <laughs> uh, huh? Okay, two misses. Everything else is a hit. Great. All right. So, 1d6 plus... Five? Virion adds four, right? Uh, I believe so. Virion adds four. Okay, I'm gonna roll them all at once. 66. The pangolins are just like, Pip tells them where to go, but Virion tells them how to attack, where the weak points are, and these soldiers, yeah. they follow their 30. orders. 66 what? plus 30. Like, Y'all you know, know red, uh, red wall. It's a minimum of 36. 52 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> 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 what is a stat 
she was mauled by vegetarians. <laughs> it's like hippos. <laughs> okay. Wait, can you sound hippos? <clears throat> Probably. Um, it is. It is very. Another dead. carnivorous. It is very, very dead. <laughs> How dead we talk? Um, pr pretty dead. There's some carryover damage. I it's been disintegrated from the map. They ate the crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, God. Uh, math, math, math. Okay, that means we have. <laughs> Ten, nineteen damage the carryover. Are you just moving them like a yeah. squadron? Yeah. <laughs> they, well, because they because they're shadowy, they they can move through creatures' faces and they know. Oh, symbols. that's horrifying. So yeah. they just... <laughs> Twenty. Twenty five. Thirty. Can they no, stand so here? They're yeah, shadowy. Can they other things? Yeah, they're shadowy. And they're, and they're tiny. Or they're small. Yeah. They, they do small. lose the, the, the damage boost. Yeah. Until okay, you move. So mine is closer. Until you okay, chase so them that's down. A, <coughs> that's a white paladin. Oh, no. Uh, minus the damage boost, which would be eight on two attacks. So, so we actually have this much damage going on. Okay. Oh my god, we survived a pangolin <laughs> turn. Paladin. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the paladin <laughs> renouncing his faith. Okay. Tekka! Tekka, you arrive, you rush on, on the floor above. Uh, there's the remains of a destroyed statue just a small distance away from you, and Pip getting like hit by, by javelins. Um. What would you like to do? Uh, yeah, Tekka is just going to marvel at the shadowy penguin pangolins for a little while and then going to slam that hero. How Let's are go. they um, a species in risk of extinction? <laughs> because they usually don't have a commanding officer. Uh. <laughs> and it's usually not a, a battalion of them. A went for. What are you doing, Austin? Concentration checks. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Oh. So you oh. know all that stuff we just oh, did. No! Oh no! <laughs> Never mind. They get back. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot. <laughs> I also forgot his concentration. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey. We skip a week. And we all forget how to play this game. My God. Aus yeah. Austin? Okay. Yeah. Can well. I give you my inspiration? <gasps> Three roll but, that? I mean, roll I've that. got one. <laughs> oh. You gotta Should roll a I? lot. Yeah. For the Here. fleet? It's yes. okay. I'll, I'll do mine. I'll do mine, Sid. Okay, it's then, only then you have this in reserve. No, you keep yours. <laughs> you keep no, it. the pangolins are too beautiful. They must. <laughs> oh, that's just enough. <laughs> okay, remember all that stuff you just took back that we did? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It's fine now. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad back, I didn't delete. Back. I only deleted take a small back, thing. Back. Uh, also, oh, the for fun, the I just looked up if there's a group term for pangolins like there is for every other animal, and it's really sad. There is no official collective noun for pangolins because they are solitary species. Oh, yeah. no! <laughs> That's fine, but this sounds really sad that way. There's no word for a group of them because they're all lonely. Apparently, oh. battalion. Yeah, it should be battalion because they're little tanks. Of course, it's a battalion. <laughs> Look at the carnage. <laughs> oh, a group of ant eaters is called a candle. What a candle? I, I don't know why really? a candle, but a candle. <laughs> and pangolins are just armored ant eaters. <laughs> but I still, I still so it stand be a battalion. Lantern. A lantern, because <laughs> it's like an armored candle. A torch. I was drinking! <laughs> a lantern with pangolins. <laughs> That's so genius. <laughs> well, there it is. Someone call Miriam and Webster. Get them on the phone. Come back, Matt. 
Missed you. Um, <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> okay. Hold on. What's going on with Tekka? Um, and is all attacks? Yeah, we're just slamming. <clears throat> okay, on the here. <laughs> we're just slamming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so we have 27 damage. 27. Oh, 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 okay. I see what's going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Indeed. 27 damage. Uh, this is the uh, the hero B. The hero and more and more. Okay, twenty seven and more incoming and extra. Oh, hey, that that kills it. Hey! Nice. Hey, <laughs> Tekka has approximate equivalent power to eight pangolins. <laughs> That's actually <so> true. <laughs> it's one attack per pangolin. If it doesn't it sound like hard. a lot, you haven't seen the eight pangolins in action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that is that a turn. Uh, Tekka is uh, please take revenge on who caused harm. <laughs> Can't believe the, the hero died so quickly. Okay, <laughs> Brook. No fun for you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Guess. Here. Mm. Bonus action activating <laughs> the right of the dawn. That's <laughs> three damage, and then I'm gonna attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm not chuckling at your turn. <laughs> You're doing great today, Miss. <laughs> Thanks. I would have been very surprised if you were laughing at my turn. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, he hurt himself. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> hey, how do I... Oh. Well, this should be with... Oh, yeah. God. Help. <laughs> you got help. this, you got this. <laughs> This should be with advantage. Okay. 26 to hit. Ah, oh, 26 hits. Where? Okay. okay. Do I still get the plus four from Durian? Yeah. Yeah. Best damage? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 20 damage. Okay. And second strike. Help. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, nice. It's a great. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Wow. All right. All right. All right. Nice. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> if you did 20 without a crit. Ayo. Let's go. Ooh. Wow. All right. All right. Yes. And that Holy also crap. destroys it. You're just That's... plowing through my board. I am equally strong to a pergola. Alright, who's next? <laughs> who's the next pergola? That's our real test. <laughs> <laughs> who's next? Well, next is the thief. Oh. Um, He'd run if he knows it's good for him. See. Where, where, where are my thieves? Wait. Uh, there's only one? Yeah, one's right next to Tekka. Just the one. Oh, right, because I ate one somewhere around here. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Thief. Uh, moves uh, uh, diagonally. It's just a bishop. Uh huh. So it can't do anything. It can, outplayed us. It can do its best. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, that brings us to um, turn number 13. So, Matt. <gasps> what? Huh? You may narrate your entrance however you'd like. Okay, uh, can you describe the room? Like, how did they get here? Yes, uh, they're in a tower. Uh, this is uh -huh. the third, no, it's the fourth floor, I think, from the bottom. Um, and uh, everything here is made of glass, right? So even from like 
the, the, the party here can look at the wall and see outside. And similarly, people outside can see in. Um, if there aren't any like other obstacles in the way. Uh, for most buildings, generally that means you can like see a bunch of furniture and generally that blocks line of sight. Uh, but they are high up and this room is exclusively like the stairs. And then it's all, the entire floor is the chessboard, so there's no other things in the way. Uh, and then the, the staircase on the opposite side leads upward. Uh, meaning that you could either arrive from the floors below, or c crash through the wall, if that's <laughs> for some reason a possibility. No. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> we did it! No, so it's here. my new character, Macho Man, <laughs> not Randy Savage. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's a giant barbarian. Uh, <laughs> anyways, please don't be true. <laughs> no. no, I think uh, I think amidst this chaos of everyone declaring themselves to be groups of pangolins, uh, you hear like uh, like a clanking of glass on glass. Uh, and like kind of looking backwards and towards the sound and like through the glass floor and walls you just see like a brown lump just kind of <laughs> like hobbling its way upstairs uh, until eventually it, uh, it, it rounds the corner uh, and reveals itself to be Pontifex uh, hunched over uh, critically out of breath uh, <laughs> and he looks he looks bad. Uh, it is, he is haggard. Uh, his All of his usual shiny armor is like tarnished and grimy. His fancy boots are covered in like dirt and mud. Uh, and he, uh, he, looks, he looks distressed. Uh, and he is unkempt. His beard has grown out to this, this kind of scraggly mess. Uh, and he's wearing a coat that looks like it's a little bit too big for him that he just salvaged along the way. Uh, <laughs> it, he, is, he is grimy. Uh, he is covered in mud and foliage from the forest before. Um, and, uh, and I think, uh, like, carried uh, in the crook of his arm he uh, he's, he's using his staff as his walking staff, the, the defense staff he wore from the wizard tournament. Uh, and he's still holding his little focus orb thing in his hand, but cradled like in the crook of his elbow up against his chest uh, is his Tressum, uh, who uh, is uh, similarly a little bit disheveled. Like her, her fur is a little uh, mangly. There's like little bits of like mud, and, like little twigs sticking out, but she's wearing an expression of pure contentness. <laughs> <laughs> And, and he is carrying her up, uh, holding her in his arm as he walks out, uh, just absolutely wheezing. I think he's like drooling from being so out of breath. <laughs> 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 just, just collapses onto the chessboard. <laughs> I'm gonna roll off the beard. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, he's totally prone. Uh, he's, he's come he's back and he's like level collapsed. 12. Splayed <laughs> <laughs> out onto the ground. Uh, he's like, this is not how you play dragon chess. <laughs> uh, now who might you be, ho ho? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, allow me to show you how to play. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna cast Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit! Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Fireball. Uh, it's, it's it's distance is real big. Uh, let's, let's, let's let's like blow up like this sector, <laughs> like all oh, this goodness. Oh, what, what's was that? it? Twenty foot radius. One, two, three. Twenty feet four. radius. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, I can actually scooch it over one. 
Is it like a 30? Uh, me, me... Oops. Uh, it's it's a 20 foot diameter. Uh, oh, diameter. Uh, what? Oh, perfect. So, uh, 40 foot. 20 foot radius. Diameter. Yeah, 20 foot oh. radius. Perfect. Uh, so okay. let's let's move it. That'll work. <laughs> Get... No, that's that's it. This is how you play. Wait, this is how you. Play... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm casting it at fourth level. <laughs> fourth oh. level. Yeah. <laughs> he did level up. Uh, uh, yeah, fourth level spell. It's dexterity, right? Uh, it is. It's a DC. Uh, 16. Okay. Never. Um. That can't be right. Here. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no, it is. It is 16. So, um. That's a success. Failure. Success. Failure. 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 Okay. So. This guy <laughs> and this guy rolled higher. Okay, this much. Oh, this look pretty big. <laughs> but, uh, this will take me a while to write it down. Yep. So please give me a moment. <laughs> oh yes, clerical numerical analysis. This is dragon chess. <laughs> the wooden pieces just fucking explode. <laughs> <laughs> wood splinter going everywhere. Some of you are hit by bits of, uh, of wood and flying gears from across the room. Uh, wow! <clears throat> Wait, are these vulnerable okay. to fire damage? Uh, they're not. Thank God. Okay, okay. But, oh. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> okay, I, I know. So how for those who succeeded? So of 29 is she uh, 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 14. 14. Okay. <laughs> I have a cat on my mouse making things very difficult. Natural habitat. <laughs> yeah. Favorite terrain. <laughs> he wasn't here when I wasn't, when we weren't doing the session, but he, he perceived that, that something was about to happen. <laughs> it is time. <laughs> people need me. Uh, 29. Paladin. No, that's not how you said Baladin. Dead. <clears throat> <laughs> and uh, this warrior doesn't take in damage already. Oh. Okay. Uh, most of them, like, lose limbs. Pieces of wood are made up. They're, like, clothes and hats. The, the mage has lost his hat. It's a really sad sight. Oh. Uh, Anything I've else never on your turn in the history of playing D and D hit seven enemies with one fireball. That felt that felt nice. Welcome, <laughs> back. Uh, Welcome back. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I see the opportunity. I take it. Uh, then, um, then as a bonus action, uh, he is going to uh, uh, activate the what's this called? Uh, manifest mind, uh, and he is going to, uh, while laying flat out on the floor, uh, hold his little orb out in front of him, uh, and it is going to like, uh, like a spectral version of it is going to kind of spin to life out of it and fly forward. Uh, it's going to go. The heck is that? <laughs> Sixty feet. So he's going to manifest the mind. Ten, 15, twenty, twenty-five. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah. Right here. Oh, here, I'll just do this. Yeah. 
<laughs> that will do. Uh, and that is it. It's just a little, uh, it's a, a little floating version of his astrolabe, but bigger, and it is like twisting and turning, and like arcane symbols are, are flooding around, like it's doing big math. <laughs> That's all. Solving this opening position. Bip, the imposter pontifex. It, it really is you, Professor. <laughs> no, no, no. Big hug. <laughs> uh, Pontifex uh, Pip is wearing a mask of an old man. Right now. <laughs> it doesn't even what, look like a mask. What old like... man in particular? <laughs> <laughs> it's a generic uh, looking actually, old uh, man. The only thing is that it, t it has like the same skin color. Uh, as, as Pip, and it has like the same size to fit on his head. Uh, this I do looks think like that, old uh, man Pip. Since Pip is now like of... close enough to be actively hugging the professor, uh, he's like you know covered like head to toe in like dirt and stuff. Uh, but there are distinct streaks going down his face, uh, for the kind of cutting through the dirt and grime, as if maybe it rained across his face, for example. For example, what, what happened to you? Or like he's been definitely not crying a lot, because uh, he would never do that. <gasps> oh, we'll we'll catch up in a second. I'm gonna magic stone. <laughs> <laughs> he makes magic stones and then pops one up to squeak and squeak throws it. Squeak At tosses thief. it up and hits it with his tail. Yeah, ooh, nice. At thief number two. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, I didn't add my number. Add seven to that. Seventeen hits. Four. Uh -huh. Fourteen points of damage. Fourteen, got it. That's like a successful save against the fireball. Yeah. And then for Ooh. Pip's action... Pip will... do something. Uh... Mm. Let's do... Let's do... Uh, let's do a mind sliver. Let's do a mind sliver on this guy. Okay. It needs what is to that, make an intelligence. Save? Yeah. Uh, how into Whoa, these chess pieces. You'd, it's smart. You'd think, you'd think so. But it's pretty average. Uh, 15? That just saves. Oh. Never mind. I'm sorry I doubted you, thief. <laughs> okay, it's a Tressim's turn. Matt. Say that again. It, it, trust him. Trust oh, him the time. Tressim's turn. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna break free from his hands. Uh, I I think less break free and more he like tosses her like a dove. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, she's gonna she's gonna flit across the field. What is? Let me check Tressim's move speed. Uh, there she is. A lot. Nice. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25, 40. Check it right there. Okay. Uh, and then take the dodge action. All right. Brings us to the mage. We only have one present and it is indeed the black mage mage um moves and captures like a chess queen uh the mage has two attacks the oh, no. tressim is a possible target and nothing else um but the trust is dodging uh, what did you say 
pangolins. Oh, yes. Oh, true. No. Ooh. Mm. Don't you do it. You know what? Absolutely. <laughs> the pangolins are a menace. No. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we're going to do one attack at pangolin 7 and one attack at pangolin 4. The, the, the mage casts magic Fireball. missiles. <laughs> does, it not, <laughs> Fireball. does it not attack the whole square? It, back do, it, it, it does one attack per creature in the square. Okay, okay. Um... So the mage points a staff, but like these little wooden balls pop out. <laughs> it's, more, it's more of a gun than a spell, I guess. Uh, I rolled the same number. Uh, so for both of these, it's a 22 to hit each pangolin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hits the pangolin. So that's a... Uh... They weren't in curl up mode. <laughs> Plus this much. So I have 14... Uh, it, it's bludgeoning on number it's seven dead. and the 15 on the other one. Oof! And the information has been broken! Uh, that's it for the mage. I just realized that the mage has like the king in check. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that rule doesn't apply. Don't tell anyone. Ma Mage doesn't care doesn't... about winning the game. Mage only <laughs> wants to kill pangolins. Mage, Mage is out of blood. One target or two targets. My fireball speaks to them. <laughs> the Mage okay. is a traitor. It's it's, <laughs> it's a spy. <laughs> um. Dennis said, if I'm not back at Basani's turn, let her just attack warrior, please. Uh, uh, I will let her. Uh, Sunny hasn't seen Pontifex, right? Like, since she came back? No. Okay. Uh, so I think when Pontifex she... collapsed on the floor next to her, he, he assumed this was Brooke. <laughs> 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 Dyed his hair. <laughs> Got a haircut. I don't think Bonifix noticed. <laughs> um, you, you know what? Sunny will like, um, just wave at him and say, "Hi, I know you. You don't know me. Introductions later." And she'll like just rush ahead. Uh, let's see, five, ten, fifteen. Yes, thirty right here. I don't have Sunny's stat block. Uh, I mean, I do. I just have to fetch it. I don't have it open. Uh, here it is. Plus 10 yeah, to I'm hit? Back. Oh, hey! Sun is attacking. Hey, yo! Hey, yo, you, you wanna roll? I, I was about yeah. to. I'm literally all holding right, the dice. Alright. Right. Um, He's flanking with Brooke. Okay, so advantage. Uh -huh. Okay. Twenty-seven. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's her damage. Mm-hmm. And I think she can attack this is again. This warrior number eight. Um, that's enough to kill it. Ooh. Uh, I don't know she if she still has movement left. She moved 30 feet, so that's... Does she have 30 feet of movement? Yeah, <coughs> that's, her, that's her limit. Okay. Well, that's her turn. <laughs> that brings us to the elemental that came from the below board. Now, fun fact. It can't do shit on this board. <laughs> <laughs> it, can, it can return to the floor below. Wait, seriously? <laughs> um, a lot of pieces, when they move out of their or origin spa uh, board, uh, their movements are super li super limited. So essentially, it can only um, move back to the floor below. <laughs> uh, which it is not going to do. So it is here to look pretty and, and take up space. Uh, Virion. Body block. Same. 
<laughs> that took me a second. Just like me, for real, for real. I need a second. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, so I think just with, with Pontifex coming back, she'll just like look at him and be like, we'll catch up later. And um, she's going to, I think, turn her attention to the mage and she's going to cast gun and shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> um, first, uh, bonus action steady aim to get advantage on the first one. That is also how you play Dragon Chase. <laughs> <laughs> what I roll for this one? Let me show you how to play Dragon Chase. Pulls out the fucking gun. <laughs> cast gun. When your opponent makes a move that really messes you up, just draw on them. Take it back. Uh, 16 hits. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna crit fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is this is this why Pontifex was calling her a fish lady because she keeps crit fishing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, definitely. It was yeah, definitely that deep. Because that's how he met her, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I will, um, it's, this is how I met your mother. Yeah, I will sneak, on that, sneak, sneak attack on that one just to make sure I get it. So. Just fishing for crits. Okay, 15. <laughs> the mage has already taken damage from the fireball, and 15 is enough to blow it up. Cool. The bullet goes right through the mage's beard, and the beard like cracks and falls off, and that kills the mage. That kills the mage. It's a beard, it's this weakness. Yeah. Then <laughs> do a second shot on the thief. Thief, the closest thief. Thief, uh, two. Uh huh. Thief two is it by an 18. Alright. Thief two is hit by an 18. Seven. Got it. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Uh, now it's a whole lot of me. Uh, we have a <laughs> white cleric and a black cleric. Oh, neither of them has been developed all game. Still in the starting position. Uh, they move and capture like a chess king. So it is going to be a pretty simple turn. We're going to attack the ones on Lion Square. Does that count? Is that allowed? No. <laughs> certainly this is, not. I, I, uh, this doesn't happen in Dragon Chess. We're going to attack <laughs> these two pangolins. That's three and two. Um, nope. I just rolled a d8 from the attack roll. Well. That's incorrect. <laughs> uh, hello? I don't need that. I don't need that. Here it is. Uh, pangolin two. That's a 24 to hit. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Pangolin 3, that's a 19 to hit. Oh, <sighs> yeah, you know. Oh, the Pangolin Empire is crumbling. No. The 17 bludgeoning on Pangolin 2. Oof. 9 bludgeoning on Pangolin 3. It lives! <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Uh, this cleric can attack the Tressim. It's a disadvantage because she's dodging. So disadvantage, the lowest is this, which is an 11. Uh, that is a miss. Okay. Uh, she just gracefully moves out of the way. The piece isn't even close to smacking her with its, uh, uh what is it, a mace? <laughs> it was a I single cleric point off. Book. <laughs> Cleric is just trying to hit the Tressin with a book like like it's a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, unicorns. Easy. Um, yeah, we're starting with white, actually. Uh, we're gonna capture a warrior on the way. Uh, white only has one unicorn? Yeah. And uh, this one. Why is it offset? Uh... Trying very hard to move my mouse, but it's getting kicked by a cat. 
Hit. Okay. Next is a king. Um, white is the only one with a king on this board, and this king is going to move to the upper board. Oh. Bye. Let's see if I remember the position in the future. Uh, elephant time. Gonna have one moving here. Uh, this is free capture. The lag is pretty bad. <laughs> and that leaves us with no additional elephants, so it's back to squeak. Squeak Pip just tried to sacrifice you. <laughs> hey now. Um I'm gonna throw more rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna throw one right here with this thief. Throw rock! <laughs> throw rock. A uh, 13 misses. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Sick it. I love the idea of when Pip casts Magic Stone, he's just reloading the turret on his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's gonna go right here. Okay. Breaking the other Magic Stone with him. I can't see, I can't see. <laughs> Latching onto Brick's hair. You have a gun on your head. <laughs> I have upgraded. <laughs> my nose. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, any more heroes? Yes, we still have uh, a white hero on the board. Um, I remember they can move like the knights, right? Like they, it's no, 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 no. We can capture one or two steps. That's right. Uh. Is the sphere something that can be hit? Uh, no. It is intangible and does not occupy the space. Okay, so the hero is just gonna move here. <laughs> With a bit of trouble. Excuse you! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Rude! We're playing marbles. Okay. Move over to other pieces. Now we have a bunch of warriors. So this one is stuck. This one doesn't have anything fun to do. Uh, this one is stuck. And this one moves uh, forward. And, uh, as a dwarf, I don't, what happened to the dwarf? I guess it's gone. I think he got eaten. Got eaten? He's up there. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, it is up here. Where's the dwarf in my thing? Uh, here. Oop. It's out. Now, paladins. We have one and two. <clears throat> this pal paladin will attack the pangolins five and eight. So, five. Oh no. Oh, it's a bad roll. 12 to hit. It hits. <laughs> oh, it hits, okay. It uh, just And hits. for Pangolin 8, it's uh, higher. Yeah. But I feel like I keep rolling the same numbers on these ones. Uh, 15 points of damage on Pangolin 5, and then 11 on number 8. They did. And now uh, Paladin poof. B. Hmm. Can move. Can attack Sunny. It's gonna do that. Ah, uh, what does Paladin have? A fuck off hammer. It's throwing an entire hammer that is the size of Sunny <laughs> at her. Hammer of wrath. What do we have? Uh, Paladins have... Nope, that's incorrect. 
Uh, 24 to hit Sunny. In 18 points of bludgeoning damage on Sunny. Oh. Is Dennis with us? He's yep, open. I was just muted. Aha. You're fine. Sorry. I wasn't sure if you were, maybe you were still gone. Mm, 18. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Also, I just want to say, because I wasn't here for the first board, how much I love this encounter design. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love this. Yay! This is so smart. All right, we have pangolins. Yeah. From Austin. Okay. <laughs> Unleash. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just mourning. <laughs> oh, oh. Half um, the battalion, more than half the battalion. Yes. Or the lantern, sorry. It's a tragic day. Um, two will attack at advantage, one not, on the paladin. Mhm. Mm Sixteen hits. What? Oh, that's the second attack. I was 18 damage. <laughs> <laughs> a 15 and a 13. Okay. All right. Uh, where's my white pal? Then it has not taken any damage yet? Okay. It takes nine points. Just nine? Yeah. Did, no did jewelry not, buff. Did it not no hit jewelry twice? buff. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it Wait, does why are two nines? One, so. The the first I... nine was a roll to hit. The second oh. nine was damage for both pangolins. Okay, okay, hit. okay, 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 okay. Got it. The pangolin machine has been disassembled. Yes, it has. They're only strong in great numbers. And now they're doing win. what they can. And when, okay. when within 25 feet of their <laughs> devastating shepherd. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it would more than double. It would triple that damage. No, it would. It would double it. Whatever. Pekka, behind you, paper zagging pontifex. Ahead of you, an explosion of fire and death. <laughs> to the right of you, pangolin destruction. <laughs> to the left of you, also a very scruffy cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, Tekka will like turn behind him uh, and say to this <laughs> disheveled figure just on the floor. Uh, is he still on the floor? Or yeah, he's prone. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> is Pip hugging him like by laying on top of him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I assumed he had just completely dogpiled them. It's like them. a stack Hence of pancakes. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're both just filthy boys stacked on top of each other. <laughs> just covered in mud. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Tekka's gonna look to Pontifex and say, Teacher, you know how to make an entrance. Now watch me. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna do something cool. Oh, oh, oh. Personnel kid warps across the field at monk speed. <laughs> uh, yeah, because... I don't know how you trying to impress impress her. Uh, yeah, because while Tekka... Steps on a pangolin. <laughs> no. The, the, the pangolin is just like between his feet, you know? Just chilling uh, out. Uh -huh. No. Because uh, while Tekka doesn't have any Dragon Chess game sense, he does have Pangolin Hurdy sense. Uh, so he's going <laughs> to make sure this doesn't happen and smash this pal into pieces. Let's go. Uh, give me one second. Smash. 18 hits. Alrighty. Are you attacking the uh, Paladin? Yeah. Uh, yes. Because you can, you do have advantage from flanking. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll roll to see if it's a crit or not. So, well, eighteen on the first one that makes it easy. 
like the advantage is 18 and 11. Well, that does nothing. So yeah, they just regular damage and then the second attack. Uh oh. Ooh, so close. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, so that's 19, uh, so that's 28. Uh, that hits. And then the damage. I just realized I got a text like two hours and a half ago. I'm a terrible person. Ooh. I did all the time. And then we're gonna do some flurry of blows. Just keep it up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> There's the crit. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let's nice. go. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We're so good at this game, guys. Okay, let me let me do some math real quick. Okay. I'm still catching up. Yeah. And no also, worries. you didn't roll damage for your first hit. Uh, no, I did. Is it a five? I don't see it. Uh, oh, it's no. eleven. Yeah. I see. Yes, it's eleven. It's seven, ah, yeah. and it's ten. So twenty-eight. And the 10 for the crit? Uh, yes, 10 is the crit. Okay. Should I good. keep rolling the second one? Yes, you're really, like, it's still standing, but like, just barely. It's like you, you just have been whacking it with your staff uh, at its, uh, and uh, chipping off piece by piece uh, the, the wooden parts. It's like half a shield left, one of the legs is gone, you've been breaking through the the cape. Uh, turns out the cloak was like part of what gave the piece stability, and the moment you break the cloak, it just falls backwards and it's uh, gone. Nobody messes with pangolins! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> and that is end of turn. That brings us to Brooke. Struggling. A cat. Oh. My gosh. Alright, I'm going over here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna attack Sieve 2. Mm hmm. Uh, I have no mouse pad left. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst the cat. 23 hits. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you to damage. Okay, where's my thief? That's enough to kill it. Woo! Your oh, well. sword cuts right through it. Uh, you split it right down the middle from the head all the way down. Uh, it's luckily not a gory sight at all. It's just a bit of like the sound of metal against the metal as you cut through its inner mechanisms. It uh, makes everyone just shiver. Okay, and then I go here, and that's my turn. Mm hmm. Uh, are we out of thieves? I think we're out of thieves. I think that was the only one we had. So, thief. Out. And it's Pontifex. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me how to play dragon chess. And it's going to scramble up to his feet. Uh, you take two steps forward, and I'm going to cast Fireball again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need that, uh, oh I need that template. That would make this a lot easier. <laughs> my carefully crafted encounter. Totally. <laughs> Much bigger. That'll do it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> How about... That's pretty good already, but I can get more. There it is. <laughs> that looks like everything. <laughs> yeah, that looks like everything. Yes. You triangulate the perfect position. 
just on the fly, in a few seconds, you know exactly where to place your spell. It goes boom again. Everybody can feel just the, the heat wave uh, washing over your skin. Uh, the Actually, question, air is pushed what, back. Oh? what material are these made out of? Like stone? Uh, it's like outer wood, and then inside it's metal mechanisms. Uh, I'm going, this is a third level fireball, and I'm going to reflavor it as thunder. Ooh. Oh my god. Wait. Because <laughs> that worked on the mechanical things before. Entire glass castle shatters. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> over. Just blow out the floor. We all die. <laughs> okay. Roll the damage. Okay. I may not have to roll any saves here. <laughs> This much. Twenty-five thunder. So half of twenty-five would be twelve. And yep. if somebody okay, okay, I do need to roll. <laughs> <laughs> if hypothetically they were vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. Um Dexterity. Fail. Fail. Okay, doubtful. What's your uh, DC exactly? Uh, 16. 16? Okay, fail? Yeah. Fail. Oh, fail? <laughs> fail! <laughs> Not a single one. Nice. Wow. It is all nice. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that means. Oh no, that means all of them take 50. <laughs> you just do 350 damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he saw the wood exterior, so he, uh, he used fire, and when that uh, burst chunks off of them, and he uh, saw the metal and the uh, gears, he's like, oh. I'm sorry, the ball is I rolling. <laughs> we got this ball rolling now, and we can't uh. stop it. Okay. I think it was here. Uh, so as I was, uh, yes, it was uh, the white spot. Um, as I struggle to get this inside of the pouch, there we go. Um, the re-changing what I was explaining earlier, uh, oh instead God. of the hot blast, uh, everybody can feel just like the really intense vibration, like you feel it mainly in your lungs, um, and the, and inside of your own skull, just is, uh, for a few seconds, you just hear this ringing noise, and I realize... Uh, uh, you just hear this loud shattering noise. Pieces of dragon chest uh, pieces uh, fly everywhere, and there is very much a hole in the floor right now. <laughs> I gave this glass class more shards. The experience. <laughs> glass shards went everywhere. The floor below is a mess. Uh, the floor above, like the ceiling, is cracked. <clears throat> the walls held. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pontifus just did the equivalent of like flipping the whole in the entire table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, anything Not else with your turn? <laughs> your opponent gets 50 XP. Your gets 50 XP. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. <laughs> uh, I'm farming. I'm, I'm XP grinding. Uh,. No, I think that is everything I can do. Um, yeah, uh, no, actually, I'm going to use my bonus action, and I'm going to move the mind. Look at this fucking board. It's being cleared. <laughs> <It's a block. laughs> Blew out the middle. Uh, how far can I move it? Uh, 30 feet. Okay, uh, it is... Oh, it can hover. Uh, the mind is going to go... Uh, where was it? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 here, and 30 feet up. Up! Yeah, 30 feet in the air. It can fly. <laughs> Pick up the ball. There's no... Perfect. Wait, never mind. <laughs> Thanks. And now it's just <laughs> looming ominously doing math in the sky. 
uh, and Pontifex seems to be controlling this thing, like holding the orb out in front of him, and, and, and like you know, pantomiming you what your it orb. does. Yeah, he's he's steering it. Yeah, it's like okay. a 3D mouse. He's just moving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bip. And that's all. Bonus that's action. It. Squeak throws a rock at cleric B. <laughs> 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 Yeah, here I am. <laughs> Destruction. I'm the teacher, the wizard. High level spell destroying half and the board. And it misses. <laughs> Squeak tosses a pebble and misses. <laughs> this is the difference between a, a dragon chest grandmaster <laughs> and an amateur. <laughs> you throw pebbles, I throw bombs. Pip casts create bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> On an elephant. The <laughs> 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 <My> face. <laughs> it hurts. It must make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't do this. Uh, 11. So Neither can the elephant. Why is Virion white? <laughs> I, 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 I mess it up. I don't know. <laughs> It takes 15 points of fire damage. Oh, I have I'm no idea. I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. Oh, my board. <laughs> who is still alive and who isn't. Uh. Okay, how much? Luckily, you get to clear a lot of things off that initiative. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. I meant why is she white on the initiative tracker. She's yes, I... Like, I, I I tried to turn the third third bar on and then I messed it up somehow. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> See if it does it. Uh, yeah, I think he should, but maybe next next time. Yeah. Uh, anyways, okay. I counted the damage. Is that it for for Pip? Pip's gonna move next to the professor. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep your friends close. Uh huh. Watch it. Learn, Tressum Pip. time. Watch it learn. Uh yeah, uh, the Tressum. Uh, is going to uh, it is going to uh, is it within it, it, this thing's melee range? Should they have a, a 10 foot range? N uh, in a sense they have like, would it provoke an attack of opportunity? Yes. Okay, okay. Then uh, it, will, it will disengage uh, as an action and then it's going to move here um, okay I as think... she flies some some feathers are left behind uh, and also 20 feet near <laughs> sorry yeah 20 feet oh that's a 30 oh, oh what wait Oh no, I misclicked! Okay, hold on. It broke it! 20 flight. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Ta da! Nice. And that's it. 3D. There is no mage. Mage be gone. So, Sunny. Sunny. <clears throat> Will. Thing. She kind of got here. And attack cleric B. Eight. B? Okay. B. B. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen hits. How much is Virion thing? Is it 100 feet? 25 feet. Oh. A thousand feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> it's good enough. Hey, good you're enough. right. It could be better. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> there could be 16 pangolins. <clears throat> I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> you need a second make, bag. Or can I make my range bigger? Maybe. And I'm gonna try to hit it a second time. Okay. Which you do. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Solid 20 damage. It's very good. It's just that there's also been like 350 and it seems like it's not a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was okay. it was fine. Oh, oh. Why is my tracker moving around? Oh pff. Phoenix is laying on the key. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use my number pad to go back and forth in my initiative, and he has like a tail on it. I'm oh. the DM now. <laughs> okay, is that it's it for good. Sunny? Yeah, that's it. Okay, the elemental stands there and looks pretty. Virion. Uh, Virion, she's gonna look for, over at Pip and say, um. You're, you're looking a little rough there. Why didn't um, you know what? No, you're doing great. And we'll use Warlord's favor, and you get uh, nine hit points back and nine ten hit points. Whoa! Yep. Nice. Yes. And then we're going to. Uh... Thanks. Ura. I feel you're refreshed, like I've had a <laughs> juice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Aww. we've we're doing great this game now that the uh, master's back. The warrior couple have the rapier. <laughs> Herbal juice box. Herbal juice box. And leadership juice. Leadership juice. Mm. <laughs> You're attacking the warrior? Yes, with the rapier. Just... That's that. Oh. <gasps> Finally happened, guys. No. no. You can't. <laughs> you can't. No. No. Just too ah. worried about that. I'm glad Matt was back just to see this historical moment. Yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, I was indisposed. <laughs> okay, I'll try it again. Uh, 16 hits. All okay. right. So, yep, yeah, on, on the first blow, uh, I guess the warrior has a shield. And it is, like, admittedly, like, twice your height. Uh, you go for the legs. He... Pushes back with his shield. Um, you aim a little higher up. Uh, he deflects with the sword. You, you barely touch it. Five damage. Wait. Wait, it's number one? Oh, it hasn't taken any damage yet. Yeah. I've just been standing in front of it the entire time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have been. Okay. That takes us to the clerics. Uh, which they can pack stuff. Ha, ha, ha. I'm gonna roll for it. That's Tekka. Woo! Okay. Great. <laughs> Tekka and the Tekka. Pangolin. Yeah, yeah, I, I just attack one of them. I have to pick a square and then I attack everything on that square. Yeah, there's a pangolin so on Tekka case, Square. Wait, what? There is? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's oh my god, off. there is! <laughs> yeah, he's protecting it like a mama bear. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. So the attack on Tekka. <laughs> 18 to hit Tekka. I mean, he's 18. His so. attempt to disguise and save one pangolin. And that's uh, 10 points. Of bludgeoning damage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the pangolin. Oh, it's a natural too. Oh, yes. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> uh, what's the armor class? Eleven. Yeah, it doesn't hit. Yeah. Comfortably does Let's not hit. Go, Tekka. Nice. Uh, Tekka, yeah, Tekka just kicks back the cleric's uh, shield when she tries to just splat the pangolin down on the floor. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess this one will attack Sunny. Yep. Try it. 
Uh, I have tried. It's an 11 to hit. Nope. I needed that on the pangolin. <laughs> Oh, Do we have any unicorns? Go. You guys have wiped out the unicorns. Killed all the unicorns. Don't you yeah. know that they're an endangered species? Well, now they're extinct. No <laughs> so we solved that problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This elephant will attack Tekka and the pangolin. Uh, so first on Tekka... We have a natural two again? Okay. I, I'm, I'm just, the pangolin. This die is going to jail, and now this die on the pangolin is 18, 18 to hit. No. 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 Oh. Don't you do it. I'm so sorry. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> you that's like, that's like, I've never rolled this. I don't think that is exactly 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Which one is it? <laughs> oh, the uh, the pangolin the in between, yeah. Uh, just goes... the sheer size of the elephant. Uh, as it attacks Tekka, Tekka doesn't get hurt, but gets pushed back. And the elephant chasing after Tekka doesn't even notice that it steps on the shadowy pangolin. No. Uh, you, you just see some wisps of smoke rising oh. up, and there's nothing left. Um, the elephant doesn't have a ranged attack. What did I write on this? It has to move? Rock. Okay. We just charges at <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> Sunny, no. Vroom. <laughs> the elephant revs its engine <gasps> menacingly. It's a natural 20! Oh. <laughs> I think that hurts. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> this elephant. And 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh... 22 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> out, yeah, out of nowhere, Sunny is just squished in between the cleric and his elephant. Ah, uh, from a distance you can hear ribs cracking. Ah, no. uh, and then it's weak. Mm -hmm. Atop uh, the tallest okay. uh, head yes. available. I had to I can get see everything. A, a vantage point. <laughs> um, so you can miss better. What you got in your backpack? What can I throw? Uh, <laughs> oh? Let's see. Who you got in here? Uh, a lantern? <laughs> yeah, I'll throw that. <laughs> oh, not my lantern. You pick up the I fucking Azjut skin and toss it. Ah, this looks expensive. We should sell this. <laughs> For money! <laughs> Give me a belt. I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> I'll choke him out with it. Don't put the belt on the elephant. Oh my god. All of a sudden. It says I have a portion of healing. Don't throw that. Uh, <laughs> so if I learn anything. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Third if if third you learn anything? Yeah, third is honey. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> yeah. it's a splash potion. You just yeah. it open. I can't find anything. I'm just gonna pew 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 magic missiles. Open your mouth, Sunny. <laughs> Three magic missiles on Cleric B. Cleric B. Baldur's Gate has taught me that healing potions are just grenades. Yes. Eleven points of force damage. Oh, that's pretty good. It is a pretty that's hard a pretty to click. Good. So Sunny's getting just showered in in bits of wood. Oh God! Unpleasant. <laughs> Do we have any heroes left? I'm no. Aww. So. <laughs> mm. Vanished. Warriors. This one moves yes. forward. I believe warriors don't have the thing where they can move two spots from their starting. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, they don't. Does, There's... But does that mean I get two opportunity attack? You do! I have a dragon chest oh. rules question. 
from Pontifex. Uh, do warriors promote if they reach the other end? They do. <laughs> oh, oh. The professor would like to warn the party <laughs> if they don't already know. They promote they specifically to a hero. Oh, oh well, those suck. <laughs> <laughs> Very explainable. It says after being javelined by one earlier. Eight. Yeah, I'm I'm better now. I had my juice. <laughs> juice blocks. <laughs> Uh, eight. Okay, okay, math. I can do it. I did it! Okay, and this one moved. <clears throat> uh, no more paladins? Paladin gone. Pangolin. Aww. <laughs> There's two left. Aww, uh, you need, they need to survive and repopulate the species. You're right. <laughs> They're gonna team up on the cleric. Mm -hmm. The elephant just stepped on him. Oh well. Here we go. In the classic g game of child, juice box javelin, where child beats juice box, juice box beats javelin, and javelin beats child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's just reskinned rock, paper, scissors. You've never played child juice box javelin? <laughs> well, points of damage from these two pangolins. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is. Wait. Wow. Wait, what? is one with a On joy range? My, my, one might be. Oh? Yes, this one is exactly 25. Oh Add my god. Four to that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh no, it's not. Oh, never mind. No, it is. Wait, maybe I, it is. This, of the... How do I make them snap? Oh, there we go. Wait, no, that's not it. Whoa, I can toggle the grid from them. That's cool. Um, 80 feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? It seems about right. No. <laughs> because it, it's Why the, is it attached the, to the diagonal. pangolin? <laughs> or the tressum? It's the tressum. It's, a, it's the last thing you touched. Yeah, I, I, I really feel like this is supposed to be. Oh no, it's well, not. Well, it's two spaces uh, over, so it's the yeah, uh -huh. diagonal. It's all right. I'll accept the twelve. Rip. Okay. Moving on to Teka. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I Aww. think the strategy so far has been working, and hopefully we can keep one pangolin alive. <laughs> so you know. Just brutalize them. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, continue hitting. Attack those go. within green range. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. We all start counting. Five nice. Oh. Yes. Oh. Nice. Is this on the elephant? <laughs> no, elephant. Uh huh. Revenge. Mm hmm. Come on, big money. No whammies. Oh, and that's plus four. That's so pretty good. Can... So, 18. 18. This elephant has already taken some damage. Ooh, but it's still standing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a bonus action on arm strike. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, never mind. Nope. Let's just do the regular second attack. That's fine. <laughs> regular attacks work out. You move your butt. And that yeah, is sorry. 11. <laughs> <laughs> and that's 11 more. Um, 11 is enough to destroy the elephant. Woo! Let's go, let's go. Wow. Despite the sheer size of this specific dragon chess piece, uh, turns out its construction isn't as sturdy as you would have thought. Um, and uh, your staff makes a hole through it, and then you kind of like grab onto the edges of the hole and you tear it open. Dang. All right. <laughs> Take it off as to go around. <laughs> uh, oh, was there, uh, was there still a campfire here? The whatever it was called? Bonfire. Yeah. yeah. Was that still happening? Yeah. Well, 
Brooke. We're done with that. <laughs> Brooke. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know how you managed or, to move 20 feet by spending 40 feet of movement, but... <laughs> I don't know it. either. I still have some more feet I can move, right? Level uh -huh. routing. Yeah, you moved okay. 20 or 25 feet. You want to be I got to very you instead? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna take Cleric B. Cleric B. Where are you taking her? Taking her? Yeah. I don't know, I'm being silly. <laughs> it's like I'm taking, oh, I'm taking her nowhere. But like it's 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 so rare for you to encounter someone who's taller than you. <laughs> I'm assuming an eight a twelve doesn't it hit. Tall misses. Alright, another tech. Mm. Dead one hits. That he does. <clears throat> Alright. You guys made me laugh so much, my throat is dying. <laughs> Certain Some damage. Hurt. Some kinds of happiness hurt. Uh, that is enough to destroy it. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Alright. And then you backwards long jump next to Sunny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No time to waste. <laughs> Back to Pontifex. I've missed playing this character where I'd like to note he has moved the maximum amount he has been able to this entire combat. <laughs> Words, and he has made it two squares. <laughs> Love that. Uh, yeah, the professor is going to uh, scooch up. Uh, to here. Uh... And then, um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, as a bonus action, cast, uh, wait, no, I'm not. No, I'm just going to cast a chromatic orb, but I'm going to expend the use of the mind, and I'm going to cast it from the mind's space. What? Uh, so he, uh, he starts conjuring up that thunder magic uh, and it seems like the mind is doing it too and then the mind is going to fire a thunder chromatic orb uh, at the warrior five okay it is this number it's some portal stuff going on Whoop. 20 hits uh, and this is just first level it's like a lining suddenly strikes from the ceiling uh, roll. Ooh, Has this guy been hurt before? <laughs> 19 thunder. Uh, I don't see. Okay. It has never been hurt before, which means it barely survives. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. And then, uh, that is move, that is action. And then, no, that's everything. Wait, no, I want to hear. I'm gonna move the orb. Okay. Uh, orb is gonna move uh, thirty feet. Uh, this way. Whoa, it's doing crazy stuff. Uh, five, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah, right here. Okay. You you can move also this. Yeah. And I think and the ball should stay on top. It's gonna drop down. It's gonna drop down to 15. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> Good catch. There we go. I can't believe it's not rolling off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that is that is the turn. Mm -hmm. Everyone he just hears another boom, not as loud as the previous one. Uh, just further up ahead from, uh, um, from like across the room, this poor warrior getting absolutely destroyed barely still standing like dragging himself forward with with just by planting his sword in the carpet and pulling himself ahead trying to get He's to the finish line really wanting to be promoted always <laughs> dreamt of it Pip. yeah okay yeah 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 what are we doing 
Well, we're gonna move up to the professor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like clinging to his sleeve. Uh, <laughs> yes. Come with me, smell child. Like granny. You have a tag along now. <laughs> you smell like granny. Oh. <laughs> the elemental. Like swamp. Has the elemental <laughs> not done anything at all? I indeed. Uh, we're just gonna set it on fire and just watch it burn. <laughs> It needs to make a dexterity saving. <laughs> the elemental hasn't done anything. Let's set it on fire. Uh, 18. It's it back to the natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stone it's like elemental. A it doesn't feel like it. It dodges the fire. <laughs> no, it's just sitting in it. It's just... Yeah. It's just this, this is, is fine. fine. Yeah. This is fine. <laughs> Okay, oh, we'll make more magic stones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, these are gone. Sorry. <laughs> I don't make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it Tressim time? Uh, it is Tressim time. Uh, Tressim is going to... Uh... Tressim is going to actually fly down... Uh, can she reach? Uh, 5, 15, 20, 25, 35, 40. She's going to go here uh, and get down like that's within that's within melee range. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, and then she's going to take the the. Uh, let's do the help action. Why not? Oh. Uh, just be a nuisance to this poor struggling warrior. <laughs> she lands on That's his it. sword. Yeah. <laughs> then he's Perched. holding up himself when she lands on the sword, yeah. mocking me. Puts extra weight on it. <laughs> <laughs> this hollow Sunny. bone cat. <laughs> That's it. Sunny time. Okay, we attack. Surprise. What have I done? <clears throat> 21 hits. Okay. Uh. Oh, are your, are your dice doing a little dance? Yeah, it's wiggling. Oh, man. Okay. I couldn't uh, believe it. It's all the fantastic nanny damage yet. 15. All right, another attack. Mm hmm Come on. Oh, she needs to be up here. Hey. Oh, that's a crit. That sure is a crit. She crits to 19s! <gasps> oh. Oh. Wait! <laughs> oh! Oh, so oh. close! Oh no! One hit point away from the no, I would have needed backstabber! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's uh, the end listen. of my turn. <laughs> Sunny just single-handedly opening up this all offense as if with a can opener. Uh, <laughs> Elemental chills in the fire. Is there another saving throw? Uh, I, I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> I think it's like uh, once there is. Turn, if it right? ends its turn, it's another deck save. Da, 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 da. Yeah, when it yeah, ends its turn. You know turn. what? The elemental is going to go it downstairs. No. Ah, bye. Bastard. <laughs> Pip, Pip thinks he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did. Kind of. It, it does look like it just kind of disappears. Um, so it doesn't leave behind any of the shattered pieces of a broken a piece. But yeah, um, almost like a melting sort of motion. It becomes a little bit smaller and uh, moves downward, and it seems to 
just be gone and not really leave a stain or anything. Virion? Yes. Um. Uh. You're just yeah. picking off the stragglers. Exactly. I think we're just gonna see if we can finish with this guy off. Maybe. I mean, I have only have one stick now. Uh, 13 hit. Uh, so 13 doesn't do it. Alright. Uh, try again. Seventeen does. All right. Nine. Nine damage. That's number one. I've done the math. Brings us to the cleric, which, oh yeah, it still exists. Ah, uh, just the one. Uh. So we're gonna attack Tekka. This is 16 hit? It does not. The cleric does not attack Tekka. Does not attack Tekka. <laughs> nice. Instead, uh, we're gonna attack uh, Sunny. Yeah. It's not a crit. It's not even a hit. It's 10 to hit. <laughs> I'm sad. I could have possibly seriously hurt somebody today, but no. Don't be okay, sad. Okay, squeak! You, you hurt squeak. all of the uh, pangolins. A squeak I guess. is going to fly off of Brook, grab a magic stone, and yeet it at the elephant. <laughs> oh no, squeak, you're so strong. I know it! I know it! Here it comes! Yeah. I am wow. the strongest rat alive! <laughs> it's just a really big target. Ah, uh, yeah? The little devil takes down the giant. You were attacking the elephant, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Behold it my is, power. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, yeah, it's just hit by a tiny pebble and for a moment nothing happens. And then the entire statue just falls over. Next. Squeak takes all the credit and yep. Sunny uh, doesn't yep. say anything. <laughs> you do. The warrior leaves the reach of Varian. Hot shot. I just had this ready to go because I knew this was going to happen. All I miss is this warrior crawls forward. It is within the reach of the Tresum. Uh, the tr it is a familiar, so it is uh, incapable oh, of attacking right. anything. Yes, it's not, it's not squeak powered. Yep. Uh, no more pangolins? No more pangolins. <laughs> no back. more pangolins. The lantern is defeated. Okay, you'll have more on your short dress. Becca. <clears throat> okay, let's just keep fighting. Do what Tekka do. Punch. Heck a punch! Let's go! Wow! Uh, oh my god, you're rolling rocks! Oh, yeah! Oh, nice. oh, there it is! Big damage! I think you're still within. Oh, is it still in the radius? 5, 10, 15, 20. Looks five, like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay, I have a plus 4 to that. Let's plus go. Plus 4, okay. Wow, 18 punch. <laughs> okay, punch. so we've been handling pangolins for a while, that hits. Um, and I looked down on my board, and I see that one of the hit points I was counting were for Ollie. And I was like, why well, did I write down that, that Ollie is in a fight? But I actually wrote that, like, that was short for Oliphant. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I see. And that's 14. 14 is enough to take out this cleric. Woo! 
All mm. yours. Okay. <clears throat> and then uh, Tekka is going to start moving towards this guy. <laughs> End Tekka's of is her. flying. Mm -hmm. Can Brook make it? Uh, nope. If you can make it, you have advantage on attacks against the warrior. <clears throat> or at least the next attack. You have to run! I don't think it's I can make it to... I don't think I can make it to either of the warriors. Hmm. See, I stand in front of it. Sure. 10, 20, 30. Or... I can do that. That's my turn. Noah was the last line of defense to prevent the promotion. <laughs> Just standing there hoping that somebody will come. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Pontifex. Uh, yeah, Pontifex is going to... Um... Jory has, like, a gun. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know if Jory does, but Virian does. Oh, yeah, Virian. Yeah, yeah. It's between Virian me and has a gun. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good back to the swing of things. Uh, great. Then the professor is going to... Uh... <clears throat> let me let me check the spells. I think I only have two, and neither of them will do anything other than what I want them to do. So it doesn't matter which one. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna cast a sanctuary onto Virian, uh, which, with voice of authority, lets you make a weapon attack as a reaction. Okay. Uh... But. So I cast Sanctuary on Virian to immediately break Sanctuary, but I'm basically using my bonus action to let Virian shoot something. Cool. I'm gonna shoot. I think the other one's too far away, so it's gonna shoot the warrior one. I just realized that I broke my slideshow on my Twitch. This has been showing Brook this entire time. <laughs> what do curious, you mean? So... Oh no. There we go. That doesn't sound broken to me. Yes. What do so, you mean? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, Was that a tear of attack? Yes. Oh no! Okay. It's fine. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, with my action, uh, I'm going to cast, um, I'm going to cast uh, a spell through the Tressum. Uh, she's going to get like fly down towards it just in range and her little hair is going to stand on end filled with static electricity uh, and I am casting Shocking Grasp through my familiar. Wow. <laughs> uh, and she's just going to like cat this and just latch onto this thing like a hugger <laughs> and just tase it. Uh, or try to. Um, this is plus eight. You have I don't guns? think it gets advantage from its own it, health action, so... It's... you're attacking. Oh yeah, I guess... I mean, I guess I'm attacking, but I'm channeling it through the familiar? Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave that up to Winther. Does, does the help action affect this attack? Hold on, I'm confused. You said you're casting Shocking Grasp? Yeah, I'm casting Shocking Grasp, the touch spell, and you can yeah, cast... I don't see it on your character sheet. Yeah, it's on there. What? Uh, it's under Prestidigitation. It's an I see thaumaturgy and a prestige. Uh no. It's wild. Okay. That's I weird. don't know why my Yeah, uh in my in my cantrip list, it's because I used to have prestidigitation, but then the multipurpose wand, I just switched out prestidigitation for I see, I see, rest. I see. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. wizards can just <clears throat> do it after any rest. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, I was just looking it up because I was trying to see what it does, and then I was like, I can't even see it on your sheet. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, is, this, uh, is this creature wearing armor made of metal? N no. Okay. Then, uh, then I guess the, the question then comes up, does the help action affect this attack roll? Let's say yes. You need a friendly creature and attacking the creature within five feet of you. 
If your ally attacks the target before your next turn, your attack roll is made with advantage. Yeah. I think and then, you're let me supposed the to, like, spell. pick which ally, like, the moment you do the help action. Yeah, you, yeah, you pick the oh, target. Oh, no, no, no. That's the... the you pick the target? The alternatively, it's just a friendly creature. I don't think you have to pick which one. No, okay. no, it's you the... either... Okay, no, so you help... You pick an ally to help with, like, a skill check. You pick mm -hmm. a creature to help for attacking. So the so, like, creatures, I, I can yeah. I pick this enemy for an ally to get advantage to, to get the help thing, or I pick a specific ally for the skill check. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, then um, I don't see then, why the trust sims aid wouldn't trigger because it is an attack. Because I doing. think find familiar isn't like the familiar is attacking using my modifier. I think it's I'm doing it through the familiar. When yeah, you cast yeah, a spell, yeah. you're just touch, casting your familiar from the location. can deliver the spell. Oh no. Your familiar can deliver the spell as if it had cast the spell. Ah. So then this is the trust I'm attacking. Never mind. So no advantage. Uh, well, it, 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 the first one was the 19. So. Not that it matters, but for future reference. Yeah, now we know. Uh, okay, it is dead, so... by the way. Great. <laughs> like, you don't even have to roll the... Yeah, but I want to see. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's just like tasers this guy point blank tackles him with lightning uh, uh, and then perches on his corpse and, and starts cleaning her paws uh, very uh, proud of herself mm -hmm. you guys have mm -hmm. never seen by the way Pontifex and the Tressim like working together in a battle I know this is, yeah, this is, this is brand suspicious. new it's very suspicious <laughs> Is this a real Pontifex? I guess you'll have to find out. Pip! The real <clears throat> There's only Professor. one piece left on the dragon chest board. Professor, I've been learning. I've been growing. Watch! Double Rumkata! <laughs> what? Bonus action, Squeak throws one. Pip, action, Double rock throws attack. one. All the Double throws Rock one. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> this fell to the sky with pebbles. Oh look, <laughs> I'm a Is fighter now. I get extra attack. <laughs> <laughs> Eldritch Blast, eat your Yay! heart out. Exactly. <laughs> Who needs Eldritch Blast? <laughs> <laughs> Just throw a I bunch of rocks. rocks. Behold. Can you kill it? 24 what? points. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can. Uh, you do. You get the final hit. Hell How yeah. would you like to do this? Uh, these stones uh, <laughs> somehow <laughs> go in a spiral of each other. <laughs> uh, aided by Pip's telekinesis and they reach a they reach a singularity right as they hit the warrior straight in the head. <laughs> I didn't expect you to go all, all anime on me, but yeah. yes, that's valid. <laughs> it's really good to see you, Professor, but I gotta get all my stones. Bye. <laughs> and on that... I'm making an attack of opportunity. Oh. <laughs> no. Combat's over, combat's over! We have initiative! <laughs> it's just combat's over. Doesn't mean you have 500 moves, speed. <laughs> I'm getting my rocks. Hey, high tech. Do you have one of my rocks over here? I yeah, see one. no rock. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Here's one of my rocks. Excuse me. Uh, hey. and with, I'm gonna keep these uh these height pedestals. Sure. Because I'm gonna be using these pretty extensively, so I'll make them small. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Hi. You look uh, like uh, crap. I know. Uh, and then the Tressim is going to come flying back into his arms. Uh, it is. It's been a. It's been. A, let me look at the dice. It's been a week. <laughs> Are you Don't sure it's only been a week? It's been a hell of a week. He's on the beanie. <laughs> it has been seven days. I think that is a week in this setting. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Professor. <clears throat> Great beard. <laughs> Thank you. It is not really a stylistic choice. It is more out of negligence. Did, but, uh, did you learn uh, how to love in that week? <laughs> in a manner of speaking. And love a girl, no less. <laughs> uh, I think. She has earned it. It is only with uh, her help and uh, his squeaks. Uh, noxious, uh, poisonous uh, traces he leaves that uh, I was able to uh, uh, track you down. <laughs> so she can me. smell his poison and he leaves a bit of, a, of an odor, so. <laughs> I have to mark every tree we pass. <laughs> uh, no, it is, it is good. I, I be judged you before uh, constantly, but uh, maybe now it is good. It is good to see all of you. I, I have missed you more than I thought I would. Hmm. Turns out uh, trekking through the Ladarian wilderness it, it sucks. And uh, you all are much faster than me. I, I, I feel my age with every day, but this past week has been a doozy. Uh, it turns out when I'm not around, you all can boogie. Though, you know, given my uh, my speed impedances, it has been a while. Um, glad you could make your way back. Yes, uh, uh, just in time uh, for uh, that with I am, which I am most useful for, uh, Dragon Chess. I don't uh, think luckily I've for you, I had the, the Grandmaster the Firebulb game. technique. <laughs> Oh, and uh, I guess uh, after all of the praise, it, it is best that uh, I, you all are introduced. Uh, and he's going to uh, hold up the Tressum forward. Uh, and she has earned her name successfully. Uh, more more times over than I can count. Uh, so, everyone, uh, this is uh, Seraphis. Seraphis, this is everyone. Uh, Seraphist? Uh, well, if you want to be technical, the Seraphist was Ura Imal Yeleni, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Seraphist was Ura Imal Yeleni. Uh, just there you go. Flaps her it's... wings, uh, <laughs> enjoying the attention, and then yes, takes her paw. Yeah. You know, having a, 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 following you all, it would have been nice if I still had the Farum was here al Haram, but. Uh... Oh, he's outside. Oh, that is good. I didn't notice. I was too busy looking at the floor because I could barely stand. Yeah, where did you go? What happened? Oh, so many things. <laughs> uh, that night in the tower, uh, I was uh, uh, I was talked to uh, by a, a fellow cleric. Uh, something has happened uh, to the goat. And I, uh, we believe it is the same as what happened to the fox. I'm trying to not uh, uh, confirm the worst, but it is hard not to assume uh, oh, that no. the clerics of the goat were losing all of their powers. No! And, you know. No! Yep. No! And, uh, yeah, yep. No! <laughs> it's still... <laughs> it's, it's okay, Pip. We'll, we'll figure it out. Ah. The goat is yeah, yeah. dead. We, we, the goat is not confirmed the goat's dead. dead. The goat is probably dead. But uh, it, it dead. is okay. No, I still... Somehow, I still have... Some of uh, the ability. Unlike the fox. But I don't know not why, but... Uh, so maybe the goat is perhaps not all dead, but uh, damn close. The goat is mostly dead. He's predominantly dead. Mostly dead isn't all dead, so... Right, so there is a chance it can be saved, probably, and the rest assured the other clerics are working at it, but... Uh, well, I was informed, so I was uh, it teleported away for uh, just... No, I waited for a night and then one thing led to another and it took a little bit longer than I thought and then when I came back 
uh, there was a... Uh, well, you all were gone, so... I had to track you down, and I figured, well, surely they wouldn't have gone that far, and uh, boy howdy, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it does begin my, uh, my adventures alone. Well, it was alone for a bit until uh, Seraph is here. Uh, Save me one, one too many times. It turns out that uh, no matter how much divine or arcane acumen one has, you guys, the survival is still a bitch. <laughs> they still have to eat and uh, and track and, and, and track and uh, find uh, water and food that is not toxic or poisonous, which again, uh, she's proved invaluable. I, I didn't think it, her poison sense would be so uh, useful, but uh, safe food, clean water. Uh, did you find the squeak. trail markers we left for you? Right, uh, Squeak's marking. Yeah. No, no, we left like, <laughs> signs. You left what? Like we left notes when we stopped to mark our trail for you, so you could follow us. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> like the notes, sure, but like you know. No, no, it, they didn't would... exactly like pinpoint a, like a compass, a beeline, no, they, which where you were signed, going. They were signed and dated, and so we went this way. Right, but like that's still pretty loose. We must on account on of we... this way, doesn't help when we are in uncharted areas. There was a road at most of the way, actually, uh, paths. Right. Well, I decided the road alone is dangerous. Because I found, given our entire history in this region, uh, most Ladarians out here are bastards and want to kill you. So, <laughs> I elected uh, for the road less traveled. And when have you all <laughs> ever taken the obvious route? Most of the way here, actually. So, well, yeah. Squeak's marking was not on the obvious route, so I followed that one. <laughs> And it may have led me through a bush, or a shrubbery, or a quagmire, or a, a hole. Squeak gets around, and your <laughs> choice of pathing is shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I made it, and I, I have to say, I didn't know how much I needed you all, or enjoyed your company. Turns out, when your only company is a cat who cannot speak, it gets a little lonely. No, it has only been a week, but still. I'm a, I'm an extrovert. Hug. Oh. <laughs> Hug. And this is acrobatics you're forcing onto me. I, I'm, the body is worn and bruised. But the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, your, uh, your encounter with the wolf is... I only got the bits and pieces. Oh, I, yeah, I we got a it, lot to catch up on. Yes, well, uh, yeah, luckily your notes... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's everything that happened. <laughs> and that's all that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Including some things you were there for. <laughs> Wait, so the the fangs of nightfall wasn't the real one and it was just a gobbledygooking illusion? Yeah. And the gnomes really did kill it? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then you traded rocks with a god. Another one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a recurring theme. That is a, a strange. I'm up to four. Four? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Yeah, four. Oh, oh, yes. Wait, who's talking to me? Am <laughs> 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 oh, uh, uh, another question. Uh, whatever happened to Nui? She, um, uh, she left. Like you did the snow globe bit, uh, but uh, then what? Uh, what about this onomander? Did she just leave and you were like, okay, bye? I know, yeah. <laughs> she she didn't Ish. want to follow us here. She was uh, rightfully afraid of coming. 
Right, so you're just in the left, another elderly person in the woods. Elderly? Is it not? Was she not elderly? I gathered from the, the <laughs> tone of voice when you just recapped everything that it was an old uh, baking <laughs> woman. Uh, no, she was in great shape, actually. Uh, the one with the pies. Yeah, you, you've you seen Wait, her. How can she spend her days baking and eating pies and also be in great shape? <laughs> what is this magic? <laughs> how do I learn? I this? mean... <laughs> you, you can Good try soul, spending it, my like, only just, weakness. Just like taking a walk every day, that helps a lot. Um, yeah. They fit through a little cardio. And if I were to make a hypothesis, I would say that the cold weather and the the climate w would make her burn more um, ca calzones. <laughs> well, I, I can attest cardio doesn't help because I've done it for a week and it sucks and I'm allergic. And also cold also Cardio? doesn't do that because I've done it for a week and it sucks and I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this is wrong. But uh, whatever scientific method we will uh, try on there, we will figure it out. But uh, whichever, when I get to the part that involves pies, I will let you know. Oh, um, Pip takes his face off. I've people who understood <laughs> sarcasm. <laughs> Oh god, I forgot how young you were. Yeah. <laughs> I have hit a you growth spurt. You look more though. mature, like you've grown a bit in a week. I have. I've grown a little bit. Yeah, but like, like you grew some character on your face. Like, but, uh, like Squeak's been marking, you know, he's been marking trees. <laughs> but also, like, he'll it scratch really him. He'll scratch him with his pincer and measure my height every now and then. I've grown a few inches. Oh, that's what those gashes were. Yeah. I thought that was just him latching onto the tree to mark it. Do we need to fix Squeak? <laughs> Probably Squeak. Uh, he is in heat. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I... <laughs> Stop panting. The Get tower is starting to smell. <laughs> Get them away from me. <laughs> in my cat. <laughs> what the? Anyways, what the? What the? Why are you all here? I, 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 I sort of understand, but I sort of don't. We are here for Jamil's staff. Right, but like, is it worth all of those stairs? Because <laughs> wolf. We're here for treasure. And the, the treasure was the steps you took along the way, all the way up. No. Like 15 floors. It's the gem of creation. Uh-huh. The thing that the guy, uh, like, uh, spent his whole life waiting for and tore his own organ out of his chest to wait an untold amount of time for it to recharge, only for him to be like, eh, sure, it's yours, here you go. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Speaking of, oh, there he is. I can't the wrong way. Uh, that schmuck, I passed him on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Noah has been just looking through the remains of the various chess pieces and picking up like scraps of metal and looking at them and tossing them aside. He did that on the previous floor too. He seems to have decided that there is really nothing to be salvaged from any of this. Oh. Um, you all he, truly he believe he's just going to give it to you. <laughs> He said oh, so. Uh, well. And what, we'll the, have... what are you going to do with it? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make myself... Uh, I'm gonna make yes. myself... Uh, what I, I don't know. It's like a one-off. You pair of parents. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, God is being really weird today. Um, anyways, <laughs> Noah senses that the conversation has like started to reach a kind of an ending point, and he has, he has finished looking around at the at the remains of the chess pieces, and he reapproaches the group and just uh, like claps his hands once and says, "We ready to continue?" 
No. More catching up to do? Uh, make it quick. I think you blowing up the no. floor might have attracted some attention. Is that I'm out of breath and frustrated and also I don't believe you. I don't know how you fooled all of them, but why on whatever gods you worship would you just hand over this piece of creation or something? After I use it. So you're going to hand it over when it is useless? It is not going to be useless. It's been charging for decades. It can fulfill more than one wish. Aha, uh -huh. and you're going to use it for this money? The house? Just once. Piece of land. So money and land, so two wish. It's one. You want servants too, so that's three. That's... <laughs> it is all going to be in one. I mean, not Look, enough, this is the stuff I was going to wish for if I, my plan worked how I wanted and I was back after one decade. It's been three. I can wish for three houses. I don't need three, though. You can have the other two. Can I insight check him? Oh, absolutely. I'm getting I'm getting greedy wizard vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, man, we've, we've come this far. Uh, and actually... I don't think their professor is being subtle about him him judging slash ascertaining this guy. Can I use guidance and almost make a show of it? <laughs> yes. But he is actively using magic to try to get some some kind of mm -hmm. uh yeah. And if this doesn't like work, you, I'm going to pry open you your to mind like a soup can. Mm -hmm. as, as you begin to speak like arcane words, and you see Noah kind of tensing up a little bit, like he's about to dodge out of the way of a fireball or a thunderball. <laughs> uh, three, three, three. <laughs> as you do. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to blow my new inspiration on that, my welcome back inspiration. Okay. So let's do it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There it is. That's a big number. See, 17 plus 6. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> yeah, that feels better. Okay. So, you cast your spell. You have to, like, reposition um, Seraphis? Seraphis. Uh -huh. I'll memorize it. Soon. Uh, you have to re reposition her because, like, she has one wing in your face and you can't quite see Noah. <laughs> um, and as you push the wing down and you just make eye contact with him and you're you're just being very clear that you're, you're not going to take any bullshit from this guy. Uh, you see him tensing up as you cast a spell and as you just stare at him as if you could see right inside of him. Uh, his body language is certainly nervous, but he is speaking near perfect Plurnan. Uh, so you have a lot to work with in terms of his voice, his choice of words. Um, you're paying attention to how he moves, whether he looks away from you. And despite being clearly uncomfortable with your use of magic, he does stand his ground and he does maintain eye contact. And thus far, you have your doubts. But as far as his body language and tone of voice is concerned, you don't detect any trace of malice or any attempt to lie. He's trying very hard to get you guys to go through with this. Uh, but it seems like what the plan is suggested, he's sticking to it. Hmm. You have somehow held up to my scrutiny. <laughs> and for that, I commend you very few can and have. I don't trust anyone. But uh, you get the pass for now. But You're, uh, betray my friends and hurt them in any way, and you will wind up worse than that floor. Okay, noted. Just to set the ground terms. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we can be great friends. I understand from context that you're with the rest of them. Yeah. Correct. Okay, then then my offer is extended to you as well. Uh, once I'm done with the gem, it's all yours. You if you know about 
these gems of the dragons and how they are pieces of their emotions and whatnot. Uh, perhaps you are a person I can ask a burning question to. The Lord of the Skies and his prismatic scales. Uh, he has pissed me off to an extent I cannot express in a language either of us can understand. Uh, and he has taken from me that which I consider to be mine. Why would he do that? You have encountered the Lord of the Sky. And I... lived? Yes. When I was a baby, and my parents left me on the doorstep of a cleric's home with nothing to my name except a prism, which I would not find out until centuries upon centuries later, as in relatively recently, that it is in fact the scale of a Ladarian dragon. Then come to find out after getting a wand that I became somewhat admittedly obsessed with, <laughs> I had a taste of dragonhood, and I felt a liveliness I have not felt since my youth, which understandably is synonymous with ancient times. And uh, in, in my moment of draconic fervor, in my newfound ability to fly, I felt a calling from the sky. So, uh, skywards I went, and I made it to the land of the dragons, and I found... A, an island with a cage that seemed fit just for me. More inviting than uh, other things I have ever experienced. And when I went to take a nap that I so desperately felt I needed, I was released from my stupor and found to have been entrapped by this Lord of the Sky, who stripped from me my heirloom and my wand before plummeting me in that cage, back to the surface world. I, I have a longing for the skies, a longing for dragon hood, and a longing for what is mine. And I want to know why he would go through all of that trouble just to spite me. If if there I is an may expression. Have embellished a bit. If there is an expression that embodies uh, the sentence insight check, that's what Noah has right now. The, the, the more you elaborate on what happened to you, the more baffled and incredulous Noah's looking. When, when you say that your, your cage plummeted from the sky, he repeats the question, and, and, and you survived. Uh, correct. Well, I was, I was still a dragon at the time, I believe. Uh, but, well, this the cage, no, I was removed from being a dragon I, while I was in cage. He took it away from me. And then the cage was tossed from the skies, but landed safely. There, it was not a crash. It was, a, it was placed gingerly upon the surface. And in fact, until you pointed this out, I never once considered why he wouldn't just toss me like refuse. But uh, so maybe I was a bit a bit too quick to anger, <laughs> judging this particular circumstance. That he, he did sort of keep me alive for no reason because he knows obviously I would pursue him to the death. Now you're making okay. me question everything. I don't like you anymore. I, <laughs> look, I what if if I. I genuinely cannot tell if you have just spun me some crazy story, but if it helps, I, I don't know if it will, but it is said that the Lord of the Sky is in his, in his thousands of years of uh, being alive. He has only ever cried five times. There are only five gems upon its body. They say they have colors that you wouldn't be able to see anywhere else. And that well, is I, accurate. I cannot imagine what the what the gems of the Lord of the Sky would be able to do. But they might be even more powerful than the gem of creation. 
people regardless. I don't care about what they can do. I care that it is the first, last, and only gift from my parents to me, and the only sign that I even have them. So, before any magic or power or draconic creation mythos comes into play, to me, it is a shiny rock, but it is my shiny rock. I don't and care about the magic. To the Lord of the Sky, it is a moment of great emotions. I'm, I'm, I'm not siding with anyone here. I'm just saying that's probably why he wanted it back. Why to be so protective of it. It, it is a be... moment of my greatest emotion as well. Right, and I'm sorry that this happened to you. Please don't blow me up. He's not you I want to blow up. Are you going to Anyways, this... take it back? From the King of Dragons? Yes. Well, I don't you know what would help you? Ones. You know what could help you do something this miraculous? The gem of creation. Let's go get it. A shit yeah. ton of magic. Let's go get it. How, if I do get to the Lord of the Skies and I fell him from the sky, plummeting into the earth, and I harvest his body for what is mine, how do I tell which of the five stones is mine? I... I, I don't know. I don't know what they look like. How do you not know this? It is a simple question. <laughs> They're all tears. This one, for every time he cried, they're all tear-shaped. And they're, well, massive. Well, it wasn't that big. Was it shaped like a tear? It was shaped like a prism. Then... I suppose it was cut? Yeah, that would make sense. I don't I guess. think that if it was cut it, that the dragon would have just put it back in his face mm. all right well you have been useful Ooh, uh, i get to live you. uh you get my thanks okay which is i think um, worth infinitely more <laughs> uh. <clears throat> stairs stairs yeah. let's go Okay. Do you guys want to take a quick break before the final confrontation? Do we have time? I mean, I, I feel like that loud boomy boomy. Uh, I guess it depends. Mm. Do you guys have another hour? Yeah. Yeah. I do at least. Yep. I can do till... Midnight, my turn. Same. Yep. We I'm could just for another, jump just right in. Hour. Yes, I, I just took the break I needed, so. Oh. 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 Yeah. yeah. She meant an out of game. I. I wow. I, <laughs> I thought you meant you were like short like, rest. Yo, we're not gonna get attacked while we're on break. <laughs> all, right, all my players are being time to attack them. What are you doing? Your turn. To hit? No, nothing. You say. Nothing. Moving on. <laughs> uh. Can we take a short break at least? Five minutes. Five minutes. Right. Let's go. Let's make it count. I'm counting. One. I'm counting. Oh god. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Let's make it quick as we progress to the next floor. Uh. Ah. Ah. Okay, I did it. Um, looking up once again as you're heading upward, you can see the carpet from below, uh, and you're preparing yourselves for what you figure is going to be the final floor of uh, uh, this dragon chess board. Uh, you arrive once again, the stairs lead to one side of the board, and it looks like there is another set of stairs on the opposite side. Um, have I preserved? I sure haven't. Uh, King is somewhere around here. Might have been this one. 
but that's illegal, so it's over here now. <laughs> Stop right ah. there, criminal scum. <laughs> you guys are on this row once again. It's a column, sorry. And uh, uh, with that, I should name this, like letters and numbers, make it proper. Yeah, with that, we're going to jump into the third round of Dragon Chess. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba, roll initiative! So do we get to know how these guys move, or is it just a surprise? Um, well, you have the Professor and you have Brook, who can both uh, teach you. So you would indeed know the moves. He could have even filled you in as you were going up the stairs. Because he knows that we're going to the third board. We're in the sky yeah, board. Yeah. Or the heaven like... board, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, the In this case, it's called just the upper board. Or the sky board. Okay. Yes. Sky, upper board, level three. Um, the official in-universe to my canon names. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, yes. Ready to take notes? <laughs> uh... Yeah. Sure. The sylph is essentially an inverted pawn. It can move without capturing one step diagonally forward, or it can move and capture one step straight forward. Ah. <sighs> I will be terrible at this, uh, but let's see if I can move these griffins correctly. So the griffins, they move and capture two steps diagonally and one step orthogonally outward. It's like a weird knight, essentially. So here's an example of movement. That's two diagonals and one forward. These are two possible spots. Mm -hmm. uh, the dragon is essentially... Um, sorry, yeah. I have a question about Griffin. Um, since oh, it can move diagonally and then capture orthogonally, does that mean... Can't it, it can go jump over pieces. Like this and this? No, it has to be outward. So it's okay, only, so it's it only these, these two, two tiles. Uh-huh. Okay, got it. The dragon is essentially a, a bishop, bishop and a king combined. Uh, it can move diagonally any number of spaces and then orthogonally only one. Who was that? That's a dragon? That's a dragon. Bishop king. Now we have a few repeats from uh, the board below. Uh, and as I mentioned, some pieces move differently when they are on a different board. So for example, the mage that was like a queen earlier, uh, it can only move one step uh, straight forward or sideways or back. So orthogonally, it can just do, it's a reduced king. The and that's king move and capture. Yeah, the so king like literally like the cannot dwarf. move. Uh, hmm? so it works like the dwarf. Ah, oh, yeah, the dwarf couldn't go back, uh, and the mage. Oh, okay, okay. Forward, back, left, and right. Uh, the king can only move back down. So on this board, unless they flee, they will not be moving at all. Uh, same for the hero who can't move across this board, can only move back down. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay. Everybody's here. Uh. I think we're good go, to start. Everyone. Oh, well. 
Oh, I haven't given you the bars. I'm so sorry. What a monster. That was excellently written, Matt. Yeah, thank you. That is really good. With the formatting, too. Very fancy. <laughs> oh, yeah, Matt was very fancy. He's like highlighting words and uh, bolding them <laughs> on Discord. It's the dragon chest. I don't yeah. mess around when it comes to dragon chest. <laughs> I love how Serapis's name is even is longer Austin than with us? Yes. We need your initiative. Z. Oh, I thought... Oh... I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I forgive. It is... 19. Greek is... 7. Did you say something, Jory? Yes, I thought he was 12. Yeah. Making, yeah, that joke. Nice joke. <laughs> mm. I guess that looks right. Okay. So we start with Virion. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry. One last dragon chest question. Can uh -huh. any of these units hop over other units? I don't believe any of these. Uh, besides can. the Griffin. Yep. I assume just Griffin. Griffin can. Okay. So, uh, Pontifex, I don't know if this works the same in this scale, but if we take out the king, does that game over? DM. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. It's uh, like chess. You're supposed to put the... Put the uh, yes. When the king. king is defeated, the this side is defeated. All right. Sounds good. Uh, bonus action, steady aim, and... <laughs> How convenient! <laughs> <laughs> it's time to dome this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and checkmate. And... Uh, I'm an elf. <laughs> and I'm an elf. <clears throat> uh, mm hmm 20 hits. Alright. Uh, I, I forgot to I clean can... my whiteboard during the break. Uh, Take me a moment. I'm gonna sneak attack on that one. Alright, uh, 13 damage and... I'm gonna hit it again. Thirteen, you said, and that is. Yeah. Viren immediately attempts to execute the king. <laughs> Another nine damage. And as <laughs> there is a bang, bang, um, that just reverberates mm -hmm. across the room, uh, everybody roll a perception check. Does this rely on smell? Did a gun just no. go off? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. Okay. I had to ask. Oh! Oh. That is for Sunny. Uh, second one is Tressum. Oh, wait. It should have added a, <clears throat> a number. Uh, it's a 23 for the Tressum. Is 23 the highest we have? Right, Toby. You have to beat a 21. <laughs> wow. What's, uh, what's Sunny's? Does Sunny have a, a bonus to him? <clears throat> no. Okay. 
Just a flat nat 20. Yeah, it's a, okay. it's a flat nat 20. The majority of you, uh, with the exception of uh, uh, Pip and uh, Tekka, who I suppose were startled by the gun, uh, the majority of you notice all the chess pieces, like almost uh, kind of quivering the moment the gunshot goes off, the gun goes off. Um, their attention kind of snaps to the king that has been shot and then towards Virion. Oh. Uh, uh, that's uh, something that the majority uh, of you notice. Uh, the Tressim is the only one who isn't looking at what's going on, uh, and it's also apparently just utterly disinterested in the in the gunshot that didn't scare her at all. Uh, and Pontifex, since she is in your arms, so you would notice that Tressim is looking straight up. Anything uh, else in your turn, Miriam? Yeah, no, that's my turn. Hmm? Uh, the professor looks up and would just like catch just a, for a moment a movement on the floor above. There isn't a checkboard uh, carpet like this on the floor above. So for the most part, it, it's clear. You can see a lot of like furniture. Uh, it, it looks like a, a, an actual living space, the floor directly above you through the glass uh, floor. Um, but there are a couple of carpets here and there that do blocks the view, uh, the furniture blocks the view, and you just you just saw like a movement right before uh, something went around a corner. Okay. Uh, Viren, you, you were done? Yep, that's it. Can't move with us that in. Brooke? Well... I will still go only one step forward and try to hit the king. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That hits. All right. Fifteen damage. Did you get your plus four? Nope, I did not. It's nineteen damage. Nineteen damage. It's pretty good. Uh, Alright. Why am I failing to do math? There we go. Yep. Second hood. Not one. All right. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you happened to hit like the crown, and for some reason that was the sturdiest part of the construction. Oh, you were trying to decapitate the king, uh, but your your sword gets stuck instead in the in the wooden crown, and it takes like a few like handful of seconds to pull it back out. Um, you still did some solid damage as well. So Pip. Are you also going to commit uh, the murder? Yes. Regicide. Regicide. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. Yeah, I feel like murder is just the right thing to do here. <laughs> um. <laughs> we taught him so well. My boy, growing up so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast a hex on the king. And I'm gonna give him disadvantage on wisdom checks. He can no longer make wise decisions for his kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna stab him with my knife. <laughs> Let me see what you have. A knife! <laughs> Oh my yes. god, I actually accidentally left a knife lying around the other day this week because I had opened like an Amazon package uh, and I left it on my desk and at some point I saw Phoenix just playing with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm a terrible mother. 19 hits. <laughs> Eight points. Ah, okay. Very, very good. This king is barely standing. I do mean nice. barely. Is that with the yeah. hex damage? 
Ah. Uh, yep. <laughs> was that also? Is that with Virian? Oh, it's not it with Virian. Oh, oh, it's not oh, Virian. Oh, add four. Oh, 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 you took down the king. You took down the king. <laughs> oh, oh, I have killed the king. <laughs> You're using your knife to stab the king. Okay. I stab him in uh, the he back. He was like busy fending off Brooke's attacks and just walk up behind him and like you, you dig your knife like in the back of one of his knees. Um, and you carve out like a little piece of wood. Um, and the king falls forward, hits his face on the ground. There's a moment of stillness on the board. And then... Well, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Why don't I show you? What? Uh, uh. The surviving mm -hmm. king... is going to move here. Uh, oh, it's Seraphis' turn. <laughs> Yay! Uh... Surface is going to uh, book it. She's going to fly and dash. Um, I guess uh, the 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 figure that was darting is she able to still see it? Oh, upstairs. Yeah. Um. And I don't know if it matters, but she can see invisible stuff, if that matters at all. Yeah, that's true, but that's that's not the uh, doesn't apply here. Um, okay. The the <clears throat> the movement that she had spotted is now out of view. <clears throat> so she's looking in like okay. the last the last place where she saw it, which is also a Pontifex so saw something. But that that's that's it. It's like across and about where on the, the room, approximately here and above. Okay. <clears throat> so it, the movement was here. Could I tell the direction it was moving? Um, this way. Okay, it was leaving. Okay. Great. Then, uh, yeah, she's going to move and dash, and she's flying up in the air. To okay, here, and then how high is the ceiling? I think exactly 30 feet is what I said last time. Okay, then yeah, she's going to go 30 feet up. And that's it. <clears throat> Which brings us to the dragons. This is a terrible position for this dragon. Okay, I'm going to have to keep track of this, and I'm really bad at it. <laughs> uh, to, I had to write in my notes. So B dragon, and that's a, that's funny. <laughs> if you know, you know. Feel called out. <clears throat> Pre pretend not to get it. Um, <clears throat> Mom, throat, <clears throat> work with me. So, uh, the dragon is going to eat the silk. And then, it is going to eat the sylph too. Uh, the dragon, despite being the biggest uh, dragon chest piece you've seen thus far, moving with greater speed uh, than all the other ones, um, this one could capture the mage, but instead, it moves diagonally once, and then, it attacks Tekka and Sunny. What the heck? Um, so, I guess it's a breath weapon. Uh, the uh -oh. mechanical wooden mouth opens up and it spits out a little bit of... Uh, I didn't specify. Acid! Do with that? So, um, this is actually an, an attack roll, though. It's not a save. So, we have... That's funny, I've rolled the same number on both of them. 18 and 18. Hits. I don't remember, uh, how much it is... hit, Taka? 18? Uh, yeah, 18 hits exactly. Ooh, oh, okay, 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 okay. So, on Sunny, the damage is... Uh, 
18. It's acid damage. On Taka. It is uh, 17. Also acid. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, okay. The dragon attacks a second time. Okay. It's on the two of you again. So, on Sunny. It's a natural 20. Uh huh. <laughs> on Tekka. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's an 11. Okay, that's not it. It balances out. I don't have enough dice for the crit. Don't say that. <laughs> uh. That's useless. That is 37 points of acid damage. Alright, well, let's just start attack hitting. Hmm? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear what you said, Dennis. <laughs> when is the third attack hitting? Ah, uh, there, oh. there isn't. <laughs> sorry, I just saw the, the picture. <laughs> Are you shooting Squeak? <laughs> Where did no. they go? <laughs> okay, so the dragons are done. Um, and oh, Sunny gets a death saving throw. Sunny's had a bad week. <laughs> I mean, all things considered, it's not been that bad. I mean, all things considered, <coughs> seems pretty good. <laughs> Is it just a straight roll? Yeah. Okay, that's one success. So, um, the uh, Pontifex would have seen that the Black Dragon kind of rushed towards you guys, and also mm -hmm. is quite dangerous compared to the other pieces. Uh, with the king down, the pieces are still fighting. Although the white seemed more concerned with capturing black pieces. And these wow. cheat. <laughs> the game should be over by now. The black is a sore loser. <laughs> <laughs> it's throwing a fit. Murder? Not the Um, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm eating chocolate. Um, yeah, the professor is gonna, he is also going to, uh, similarly <laughs> to Seraphis, uh, start moving. Is that here? Mm hmm Um, and then, like, I guess, like, just for fun, we can just fireball again, I guess. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> If you're gonna twist my arm about it. Yes. I need that temp. Yes. Do it. <laughs> Just blow up everything. Can I? No. Oh, I'm right. gonna color it so we can see what's yes. happening. Oh, it's very faint. Kaboom! Thunder. Kaboom! Thunder. Yep. Oh, uh, wait. Did I? Yeah, okay. I hit all that. Good. Just try to wipe black off the board. Oh, right. I need to roll saves. <laughs> yeah. Dragon white. Against a DC of 16. That's a fail failure. Griffin. Fail. Ooh, roll. Black dragon. 17 succeeds, right? So yeah. It's 16, I think. Yeah. Um, so Black Dragon is the only one that's passed, the Sylph passes, and the Hero fails. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna put this over here. So that means 11, 11, 22 for everybody else. Where did I? Found it. Found it! And this is the Thunder Damage one in case it still applies. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
what? This will take me a moment. It's 11 on a success. Oh, also, um, I guess I didn't realize this until just now. My manifested mind, uh, it just, it doesn't go away. Oh, you carry it over from the it floor just, below? Just stays with me. Yeah, it can move faster than me, so I assume he just puppets it and just hovered with them. Uh, okay, so yeah. I'll say it would have been in his space too. Uh, so I'll, I'll bonus action move the mind. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Here and uh, end up. Okay, and that's I got all. a damage for everybody. That means we're moving on to the mage. There is one, it is white, it can move one step. Squeak! Okay, um, let's see. There's one king left. I'm gonna go try and kill him. He, I got two more magic rocks. I, I feel like if we kill the king, everything is gonna try to kill us. Just putting that out there. Oh. Well, maybe maybe kill the dragons first. That seems like a, a really good decision right now. Uh, hmm. You know what, Virian? I trust you. <laughs> that was your first mistake. <laughs> I hit the dragon. <laughs> okay. With a rock. Toss the rock at the black dragon. It's a magical rock that misses. <laughs> Despite you know what? You, I, I like you. I like your idea so much. Uh, try it again. Relentless assaults. <laughs> oh, Toss I. Toss another rock. <laughs> <laughs> Pip. It's, Pip it's technically sends it a reroll, right? Telekinesis. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Re repeat the attack against it the target. Boomerangs. It turns. It turns out. <laughs> he boomerangs. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, it turns out that Pip gave you an extra rock, rock, and you didn't notice. But no, you can just boomerang it back with telekinesis. <laughs> just because we we're inside the try again. <laughs> yeah. Thirteen points of damage. That's the spirit. That's very good. Hey, thanks, <laughs> Verizon. <laughs> Listen, don't, don't you start with us now. <laughs> we have a I hero used to everybody here. Called name. Who can't do anything yeah. on this board. It's a sad hero. That brings us to Tekka. Tekka, uh, you yeah. survived the, the acid. Sunny, not as much. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so Tekka's still feeling some of the acid on his skin. He's gonna take out uh, the blanket and the sunscreen he has and try to, like, mend some of, like, the burning on Sunny's skin and try to stabilize her. Mm-hmm. Roll a medicine check. Okay. He's not a professional doctor. Do not follow this. <laughs> the only I know is that, that the acid... I say, I lost the idea of sunscreen on acid burning. Yeah. <laughs> all, Why not? All you know is that the acid is sizzling and, like, priority number one, you try to, like, wipe it off what's left, and then well, those are burns. Maybe they will oh, help. God, You're not sure not... if it does, but at least, like, Sunny, who is, like, uh, well, at least her breathing seems to become a bit less erratic, and maybe she'll be fine? She definitely needs medical assistance, but you've you done what you could. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I guess uh, Tekka is just going to continue doing that. Not going to move. So, end of turn. Okay. Sylph time. It's my favorite. <laughs> uh... These are kind of crowded. Two. Gonna come like this. And there's more back here. We might end up uh, having to 
Uh, they also have a special rule, Pontifex, you know this, for because uh, they can only move forward. But they don't promote when they reach the end. Um, mm -hmm. They are capable... Uh, oh, but Turn it's on floor below. Yeah. They... Uh, oh, that's, that's a shame. I remember the thing about it only happens on the floor below. Basically, they can't move on the floor below. Uh, they can go straight down. And when they do they can return to their starting position on the floor, on the board above. Mm. Uh, so that's how like, they, they sort of trace their way back. Uh, so we'll see if that becomes relevant to think about. Uh, uh, there is a single sylph here uh, that is going to... Well, they always act uh, if they can, so it has to move diagonally like this. Boom! G Griffins. Uh, Griffin cannot reach these. It can eat the silt. Oh, starting with white though. <clears throat> ah, this Griffin can attack Virion. Yeah. <clears throat> Two diagonals and one forward. And like the elephant, they have to like do their partial movement and then attack with melee. Um, so it's like halfway illegal. <laughs> find the location uh, um, yeah, whatever. halfway illegals halfway legal <laughs> that's, like that's that, Austin please. that's Austin speeding in the school zone yeah. uh, which is still with not turn legal signals. I was using my turn signal so it's half halfway legal. legal. <laughs> anyways to hate to be your own I have a dirty 20 dirty 20 does it dirty 20 does it Oh, that's that's. Man, okay, that's twenty-four points of bludgeoning damage somehow. Bludgeoning? Ouch. It's slashing. Sorry, it's it's a claws. It's a beak. Ah, uh, that was extremely high roll. Ah, uh, that's Ouch. a white griffin. The black griffin. They are prioritizing coming towards you. Um. My gosh, it's so hard to actually play this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game is hard. Can you imagine having to like plan for a movement of a griffin like five moves ahead? What the hecky? Virion. Mm. Alright. Um so first things I first, like... she's gonna be like sorry, God. I was gonna I say like... I like the mini for the griffins. It's very yes, dynamic. I like me too. I like them better when they're not trying to bite my face off. Oh, that's fair. Um, <laughs> uh, so first things first, she's just going to be like, um, Sunny, now we really need you up right now. Um, snap out of it, and we'll use uh, Warlord's favor on her. So, re <laughs> recovers nine, nine temp hit points. <laughs> For Sunny. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know how you're snapping me out of almost dying, but thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. Ow, 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 I'm burning. Uh, <laughs> That's not the time for your death. Yeah. <laughs> You've already had first. We can die later. Death. <laughs> uh, uh, oh boy. I'm thinking. Uh, uh, I'm also trying to look at the board. I think she's just going to... I don't want to be like anywhere near any of these things right now. Um, <laughs> uh, we're just gonna <laughs> oh, tap that's them. fair. <laughs> gonna attack uh, the white griffin. Okay. Actually, uh, I have to move to do that. Uh, 
Yeah. Ooh, there. Back by Griffin. Ah. Uh... Uh, 20 to hit. <laughs> 20 hits. Alright. And I'm going to use one of the charges on the dust blade, so it needs to make a con save. A con save? Granny's yes. like, why can't my kid just wish for, like, a toy car, like all other kids? <laughs> um, I six wish for plus the that much is a failure. kill more efficiently. Uh, so, a failed? Ten. All right, yeah, it's uh, speed is zero until oh. the start of my next turn. Griffin, no move. Griffin, no move. Griffin, no move. Uh, and we're just going to hit it again. Okay. 24. You have effectively just like you chop off the wings of the griffin. And then you give it another stab for good measure. Uh... Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, an extra six. Ha. Anything and, else on your uh... turn? Sorry, I didn't hear. You're done? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm gonna move. Mm, yeah. There. Okay. So. The. For the griffin, uh, the the black one, and for the black sylph, well, what's happening with Squeak? He he, uh, he was on top of my mini, so I guess he's not moving unless he really wants to. Okay. <laughs> Girl says Austin. <laughs> so you, will you only take opportunity attacks from the sylph and the griffin? Um. Wait, wait, what did I say last time? Do the uh, opportunity attacks, do they work based on the movement? Can you do know. that? Uh, last time know. you just said that it was, uh, that they do reach the whole square. So they had a 10 foot reach. Okay. Except for technically, if this one um, moves like a knight, it doesn't get adjacent. If it only goes by, it depends on if it goes by where they can capture or where they're actually adjacent to. Right, because like you know, the the, the black griffin can like target here, but like technically, can't target there. I just don't remember what I did, what I said last time about this. I, I think they I take think opportunity attacks up. like normal. Go with your heart. Way less headache. Go with my heart. Okay, but good news is that the white griffin doesn't have an opportunity attack. Um, you said its speed is zero. Speed is zero. It cannot attack when its speed is zero. Oh, nice. Uh, but the Black Griffin and the Sylph will. So, standard opportunity attack rules, just like they can dash. Uh, so, that is probably a miss. What is that? Yeah, 11. And then 17. 17 misses. Okay! What? Alright? Is he safe? <laughs> uh, then you're fine? Rook! Virion, Virion rushes right in front of you. Um, mm. Sunny is picking herself back up from the ground. <coughs> she has 10 HP as well, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nine of each. Would you like a bar for that? Uh, I can probably just use the lower one, right? The blue one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that, oh, that's what that is. Okay. Oh, Dennis! <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> All this time? I wasn't always wondering. 
after two years? <laughs> I, I use it every time we go to 10 inch PS thing. <laughs> well. <laughs> Alright. So it would be the yellow one, I assume, that is a 10 inch P. I get it. The third bar, yeah. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to attack, but I also want to run because very honest ride, what is over to our ride looks fucking scary. <laughs> just fireball. Um, <laughs> you just, you just fireball. Alright, let me try that. <laughs> <laughs> just cast fireball, Brook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? Also, just let's try not to stand on the same square of each other if we can. All right, number one, before I go over here, can I drop a healing potion to the floor? Mm-hmm. It's a carpet, so it doesn't, like, shatter on the glass floor. It lands with a soft thud. That's Sunny just looks at you and, like, you could have just handed it over. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick it up. <laughs> um, yeah, that makes sense. I I don't know why, but for my head, okay, whatever. I'm here now. <laughs> You're fine. I'm she's, the hero. she's still prone, so like it, it landed oh. next to her head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's basically giving putting it into her head. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take the hero. <laughs> Got important things to do. I still don't know why Austin typed girl just out of nowhere. Because <laughs> she left Squeak. Hits. Oh! <laughs> I'm girl. going to pick up Squeak and put him on the ground and then leave. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if he was like actually on top of Virian or... Yeah! Anytime okay. I put him on top of someone, he's always on top of them. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's um... enough to defeat the hero. Oh god, my cover is blown. What? Well. Oh, you're the villain. It's official. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. Ah, uh, Pip. Is it time? Oh, I think it's time. You know what I didn't realize? The what? dragon's turn is before Sunny's. <laughs> well. What's before sure Sunny? Will... The dragon's turn. Oh, <laughs> not sure if she will reach that healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> I should have checked. God damn it. Um, what's going on here? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Pip's going to summon eight more things. <gasps> but I want to. I want to try something new. The pangolins were fun, but. Let's try some variety. Uh, Pip's doll erupts, the strings are let loose, and emerging from it are eight new things. Something you've never done before? Something I've never done before. Let me Full look at your extras. <laughs> no, no, no. Challenge reading qu uh, one quarter. Maybe like uh, a red beak or something? Okay. I can't no, choose. <laughs> red, no, 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 no. Red beaks are not one quarter. Let me check. Yeah, they definitely aren't. But, you know, what's one quarter that you don't have yet? Oh. Uh, a long, Fish. long time ago, like as you had first set off on your adventure, um, you went through... A town. My gosh, I need to bring up the map for your spell. <laughs> figure out what's going on. It's um, too powerful. He's too powerful. Oh, I need to clean up my folder. Well, I'm, I'm also looking for a mini in the meanwhile. In the meantime, I'm going to roll to uh, see what flavor yes. they are. Okay. Uh, <laughs> on your way between Cleon and Vera, uh, you went through a swamp. And when you got to Vera, um, I think it was when you were in Vera or like on the way that you interacted with a few, uh, well, they, they, they were cattle 
they were animals that were being raised by Plurnan, um, who you had learned were like uh, a, a mix, like a hybrid between uh, um, the Plurnan version of this animal and the Lidarian. So, um, with your magic, you have brought eight marsh cows to life. Excellent. They will occupy more space than you had planned. Uh, I'm supposed to flip a coin <laughs> to see if they're large or small, <laughs> enlarged or reduced. Oh, okay. Uh, just roll any die. Even is reduce. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, don't we have a coin? I don't. I'm gonna yeah, roll d12. It <laughs> it's over here uh, next oh, to okay. Kavirian. <laughs> no. uh, heads enlarged, <laughs> tails reduced. It is. They are reduced. <laughs> they are cows. reduced cows. So they are. <laughs> they're like dog-sized cows. <laughs> reduced. Oh, they heard. They heard themselves. And I guess they can fit on these squares. <laughs> Incredible. They're so weak. <laughs> uh, you can just use a cow stat block for these. Okay. I don't think I made a stat block for marsh cow specifically. I might have, and I might be surprising myself soon. How? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fight the nine cow-sized pangolins, <laughs> or nine pangolin-sized cows. Oh my, cows are strong. <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> Damn. Beast of burden. They all fit. Uh, so yeah, these are okay, cows that have burden. like kind of almost comically long legs uh, that allows them to just uh, uh, wade through mud really easily. I have rolled initiative for the cows. Mm-hmm. And uh, here's a, a chosen one cow. Yeah, here's a representative. <laughs> oh, I need to give it life. Hold on. I need to. There. It is now alive. <laughs> is it? I can't yeah. see it. Is it an NPC cow? Oh, you know what? I totally made it an NPC cow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is important. <laughs> that, that does matter because you can't change the thing. Otherwise, boom! Player cow. Player cow. Player cow. Actor. Ready, player cow. <laughs> Anything else okay. on Pip's turn? Uh, more magic stones. That's it. Okay. Uh, you said their initiative was twelve. Yep. Why is he doing sixteen? I don't know. Does it, does it have a modifier? It happened last time too. Do you remember why it happened? Mm-hmm. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. I remember it happening. I don't remember why it happened. Yeah, it definitely happened. Why, it said, mm -hmm. why is it one now? You, oh, I'm sure not. it's not an NPC? It's rolling instead of taking the oh. the number. So now we set it to 12. See. And now it's happy. Nice. Okay, king time. And goes in the corner. Good for him. Seraphis. Matt. Yes. Oh. Seraphis. Of course. <laughs> she Still has is to going click. to dash. And descend. Um, but not by a lot. She's gonna dash to there and descend to. I think that works. Defeat? Yeah, I think so. Hold on, let me check the range of something real quick. What are you planning? Uh, 15. The nope, army 25. of miniature cows. <laughs> This game. <laughs> Aren't you happy that I turned Everyone. your 
summon fake creatures into a summon weird animals. Roulette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, roulette. Okay, twenty-five. Uh, is that where yep. she's staying? Yeah, actually, um, she didn't actually have to dash because I only have to get to here, and she moved fifty feet. So she didn't actually have to dash. Okay. So let's get to here and let's go down a little more. Like there. Uh, and then she's going to uh, ready her action uh, to blast the king, which will make sense in a moment. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to my turn, <laughs> she's ready her action to blast the king. Very, very good. What about yeah. the miniature cows? All right. <laughs> This one <laughs> true can horror. get here. This one no. can get <laughs> what here. What are we doing with pets? No. Yes. Are you yes. really going to defeat that dragon with a bunch of miniature cows? <laughs> These two get something even spicier. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! It's <laughs> ramming. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Six it's attack again. and two charges. Guess what? The pangolins, they just had a measly plus three to hit. The <laughs> oh, cows, no. plus six. Uh, what? Uh, and somehow I imagine a cow hits a little harder than a pangolin. <laughs> a bit, except they're tiny. It's a pangolin-sized cow. Yeah, you know. They also have charge <sighs> attacks, like I, I'm assuming. Trample. It. It, it. It. <laughs> oh my god. Help. Rocks. <laughs> oh, crit. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh my god. It's happening. <laughs> I can't believe you've only rolled one, one crit. A miss. Oh no. A perfect oh, there's record. A oh, 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 there's another crit. Like, you just rolled 16 d20. Like, you need, you need more. More <laughs> crits. When I am a player and I roll an advantage, I miss a bunch of times. I don't understand how you are so consistent with your hits. All right. So. <laughs> all right. Skill issue. I so get I it. So I roll yeah. 76. <laughs> And four times seven is twenty-eight. So I add twenty-eight. Why are you rolling seven? You have two crits. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah. Sorry. Nine D6. Sorry. Nine D6 yeah. plus twenty-eight. <laughs> uh twenty-eight two of these will <laughs> Okay, hold on. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. We're, we're doing some math here. Can express enter with his because number number six and number no one two five six yes number six and number eight crit yes and one of the charges uh -huh. crit so one of the charges oh crit oh my god the charge doesn't does a two d six <laughs> so so that one's four so that one's four d six. <laughs> And then uh, number four, eight is two d six extra. A six, seven, oh, eight, sorry, nine, seven, ten, eleven. Six. So eleven d yeah. six. Uh huh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fireball who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Cowball. Fireball move. <laughs> so actually, I couldn't have done this if they weren't reduced. <laughs> Because they couldn't have gotten in flanking <laughs> position <laughs> like this. This is. <laughs> so don't worry, this is actually going to be a little bit less. <gasps> oh, no, what? You Did just you just okay. roll 69? Yeah. Oh, no. I just... But they're all reduced, so I subtracted D4 from all of them. <laughs> uh, so subtract this much. What? Oh, oh my god! That's <laughs> awful! <awful. laughs> wow, what a roll! Oh, that's horrible! Chill! Oh, wow. Force. 
Anyway, it takes 40 points of damage. Wow. Oh. Okay. Never would I have imagined that to see <laughs> um, a dragon, a wooden dragon surrounded by a bunch of miniature swamp cows, but here we are. It's happening and here it's glorious. <gasps> okay. Dragon time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, as previously hinted at, uh, dragons can take an extra action. Uh, which means that this dragon, having multi-attack for each one, uh, can attack each square around it. It is Ooh. not weak like a dwarf. Ooh. It fights. So, I'm gonna roll so many attacks right now. Uh, I'm just going in, like, order of number cow, okay? Okay. Okay. Start block. Here we go. First one. What? I'm looking at the cow stat block and all. You can't look away. I <laughs> can't look away. Okay, here it's we go. It's like a car Here's crash. <laughs> cow number one. 19 to hit. It hits. Hit, hit, hit. 19 points of slashing damage. Uh, it's dead. <laughs> How to? 17 to hit. Hits. 23 points of slashing damage. It's dead. How number 3. 10 to hit. That hits. No! <laughs> 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 18 points of slashing it's damage. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Carnage! 11 to hit. Carnage it is. Uh, 14 points. It lives! <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Next to cow. Oh! That, one eight point. <laughs> that is 9 to hit. That misses. Oh. oh, the chosen ones. Fourteen to hit. Hits. 19. And ironically, these cows Slash probably have higher hit. decks than the professor. <laughs> <laughs> these cows probably have double the decks of the professor. <laughs> um, you got the last one. Yeah. Nineteen damage. It, it okay. Died. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, dirty twenty to hit. Yeah, it hits. Um, hello, Math. Twenty-one. It's Slash dead. Damage. Uh, are there two more to go? There's one more, I think. One more. Okay. Uh, fourteen. It's seventeen slashing. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> the dragons. Uh, the dragons. The cows had a very short but very intense lifespan. <laughs> Uh, now this dragon can take two actions, so we're gonna breathe acid on Tekka and Sunny. Oh no! I feel Stop bad, this. but it's very efficient. So you roll to hit both of you. Here's the one on Sunny. It's a dirty twenty. Disadvantage because she's still prone, right? It's the range attack. Oh my god! Whoa, you're right. I, I usually am. It's the it is the a <laughs> shitty breath attack. It's higher. It's twenty three. Ah! Oh. I tried. I was happy for a moment. Yeah, it's really low damage, but um, the the, the fifteen acid damage. Let me check. Do the temperature. Oh. <laughs> a great cow catastrophe. <laughs> Wait. Fifteen. <laughs> should have eight um, hit points left. Yeah, she had, had nine, nine hit points, nine temp hit points. Ah, okay. I you had her at seven. Back down you go. This is incredible. Okay, one on Taka. Mhm. Mm uh, which is not a disadvantage, so it's twenty-four to hit. That it. Uh, I need a damage for the acid. It's 21 points of acid damage. Alrighty. 
And the dragon is another action. Uh, can they move? Uh... Okay. So, it could eat the sylph, but the king is dead, so it's going to focus on you guys instead. Uh, and do it again. Wait, it's doing the acid thing again? Yep. One second. This time I'm not too late. <clears throat> Curse of the... Wait. Let's say feed. Okay. I'm doing as a reaction an amplified Curse of the Eyeless. So it's... Okay. Minus 1d6 I... to all. Minus 1d6. Okay, yes. roll a d6 for the attack I'm doing on Sunny right now. I'm rolling a disadvantage and you're moving a d6. Ah, uh, it's a natural one. Hey, yo, it's a minus three now. Okay, on <laughs> Tekka it's a straight roll, but still minus one d6. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> okay. I I have 19 to hit Tekka. And it's minus, minus. six? Yes. Or 13. Does not hit. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. You and your <laughs> blood bullshit. <laughs> you. Awesome, you had enough fun. That was going to be house card. I gave yeah, you the chance to choose up. a different target. <laughs> there was no other target. You had to move. <laughs> Or eat the sylph, but this dragon doesn't digest sylphs very well. Uh, meaning <laughs> Sunny somehow survived? A bunch uh -oh. of acid was splatting yes. like right over her head, hitting <clears throat> the wall behind her. Um, is that a potion? No, that's me hitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sunny's turn? Oh, no, I, that was just... Oh, 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 you're saying... Yes, because you amplified it. I, I get it. All right, I all right, up. all right, all right, all right. Action. Um, I use the uh, uh, potion. Mm -hmm. Which is um, a... Is it a standard healing? 2d4 plus 2. Roll. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Back to Ada. All right. Does she I still guess... have her second win? Yeah, she does. Oh. But she needs to get out of the way first. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks, Tekka. Thank you. You know what? You chilling over there? And a second. <laughs> this is kind of, this, <laughs> trying to not be noticed. What's her? <laughs> it says 1d10 plus her sidekick level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's the same level I... as you. So what she's eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no judging. Alright. That should get us for one more turn. We take it. Mm -hmm. She finishes just cleaning up with a blanket and hands it over to Tech, and it's full of holes now. <laughs> <laughs> Puts it on top of his staff. <laughs> <laughs> Waves it around like a bat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we move on to Pontifex. Uh, I was promised uh, some crazy stuff back here. Yeah. Uh, while uh, while the cat is over there flapping around, she's waiting. Uh, and from across the room, a hundred feet away, for anyone perceptive enough, she she glances over and gives Pontifex the knowing nod uh, as she pre she prepares to meow. Uh, and I'm gonna cast uh, Dragon's Breath. Uh, which is a touch spell, and I'm gonna cast that through the cat on herself. Oh, oh yes! Uh, 
So I'm casting Dragon's Breath as a bonus action uh, on the cat. And then the cat is going to use its readied action to unleash Dragon Breath. Uh, and let's just do fire because it's cinematic and I love it. And nice. this, the cat's just gonna reel back and just meow and just let loose a 15 foot cone of flames. I, I'm good. I believe that he that takes guy. a reaction. Action to cast this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah like, you're right. The cat, the cat didn't have to, uh. Oh, you're right. It's a reaction to. To deliver the spell. Through her, and it's a reaction for weight on her action. Ah, oh, I ruined it. Uh. I messed it up. <laughs> Damn. It, it's set up uh, now, though. Shit. It is a thunder-breathing cat. Dude. Well, she can't do it. Uh, maybe I don't. Maybe she sits there and acts cute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> damn. Oh, no, the knowing nod. I messed it up. I forgot, it's a, I forgot it's a reaction to cast the spell through her. Hmm. Fireball? I mean, I guess. <laughs> oh, reliable, right? I guess I have to fireball. <laughs> Matt trying to do something uh, different. Well, guess I'll fireball. Well, you know, never mind. Let's just don't be fancy. Just just do this. All reliable. Uh, I don't think I can reach wizard. No, I can't. Yeah, let's just let's just blow this up. Why not? This is the this is the last map. It's the last fight, right? Obviously. Yeah, there's really nothing else after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing's um, being foreshadowed. And yep, we're doing third level thunder. Uh, yeah, third level thunderball. Here we go. Oh, it's a roll. Ooh, it's a roll and a half. <gasps> oh, my oh. gosh. I keep rolling yeah. these 20s. That's better. Failure, 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 failure. Failure. That's what I like to hear, baby. Woo! All failures. <laughs> All these dice are going straight to jail. Every single one of them. <laughs> so they all take 37? 37 die? thunder damage. Oh yeah, my god, it's thunder. 370 <gasps> points yeah. of damage. 60, 70. <laughs> 74. 74. Pot effects has dealt over a thousand points of damage in this session. <laughs> with only a couple. Look, the map is filled with enemies with a vulnerability, and they're all stacked together. And I tried to be cute and use my my only leveled spell for the turn to let the cat breathe uh, some fire on one guy, but no, I have to blow no. up the map. Fine, fine. <laughs> have it your way. Nukes ahoy. <laughs> fine. Well, uh, yep. Take him. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you just should just shove those in that treasure chest over there for me. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back, Bonifex. Yeah. yeah. He, he is back and he he's had some. All of Pontifex's golden, like, whoa moments have been against machines. Uh, and we keep finding them. So, uh, then. Bad squeak noises. Let's uh, move. Five, ten. Uh, that's fifteen. Twenty. Okay, no, this is twenty. That's twenty. I'll go here. Uh, that's it. Wow. The black pieces have been successfully wiped off the map. The mage. Mage is chilling. Wait. No, it can move. Hey, one step. <laughs> its power is reduced. <laughs> Behold. <laughs> <laughs> My power. Now it's just an old man. Trampling fam, another wizard. It's also wearing heavy armor. It's <laughs> very slowly curling <laughs> forward. Wait, it can dash. What am I doing? Ah. I've been forgetting about the dashing. Dashing. Yeah, away from the house. <laughs> There's no dashing in dragon chess. <laughs> Turn over. Oh. We dash to get there. There was, there was hype. There are no here surviving heroes. 
Uh, get them out of here. Echo. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's start. Run, 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 running, and then bonus action. Run, 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 run. Hi, cows. Let's uh, cooperate. <laughs> you pat the cow no. on the way. <laughs> <laughs> All Maybe right. under under different circumstances, you might have enjoyed the sight of like the cute cows, and like overall, you feel like you you guys have a handle on the situation. Sunny has recovered; the majority of the pieces are gone, but you're smelling burnt flesh, spilled blood, and it's filling your senses, and it's making it a little harder to think. Oh no! <laughs> it does aim. make it hard to think. <laughs> Well, let's try again. You're just not motivated because this thing is made of wood and metal. You have advantage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's the first attack. Okay, okay. Because you're yeah, flanking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cows yep. are helping. Thanks, cows. The cows are a threat to this dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you push through the fog in your mind and... Uh, um, oh, 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 there it is. Uh, the 14? Mm hmm. And second attack. Okay. And we continue onwards. You hit one of the wings at first with your staff, and it's kind of like. It's, it's like hitting an open umbrella. There isn't, a, like, the, just the, the air is pushing back against your blow. You don't feel like you did much damage, but you push a bit further and a bit further until you tear through the wing, and then you you uh, you just kick the dragon out of the way. Uh, with the, all the damage of the cows, this is enough to kill it. <laughs> you have I should say, defeated a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> That is end of turn. And it just explodes. Like two dragons just exploded, which I'm sure makes uh, uh, Pontifex really happy. He is uh, giggling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't filled with sadness from his god being maybe dead. <laughs> a big reminder so, that he has no parents. <laughs> but aside from all that, he'd be happy. He's stuck, and this one moves like that. Because uh, it can't capture diagonally, it can only capture forward. Uh, griffins. There are no more griffins. Eep. Yeah. Okay. And. Um, this is on uh, before Viren goes. It's on initiative count 20. Um, let me just. Pause this for a moment. Cool. Uh, Pontifex, you've been keeping an eye on the ceiling. So as you're Tressim, especially now that she's on the other side of the room uh, from, from you, very close to where she saw some movement last. Um, mm -hmm. So you're the first person to notice a figure running down the steps down the glass staircase on the opposite side of, uh, of the room. You're in the midst of combat as you guys are gaining the upper hand. Um, your gaze immediately fixates on the fact that this person is armed. There is a, uh, there's a bow in their hands. Uh, they're in the process of putting a, a quiver, uh, like securing it uh, on their back and uh, producing an arrow from it. Um, so, like, you point the figure out as they're rushing down the steps, and the rest of the group turns to look right as mm -hmm. the person arrives on your floor, uh, the bow immediately pointed in your general direction, a voice just shouting, imploring, Who are you? Why are you? And then there's a pause. You all look at this, uh, uh, this person wearing uh, uh, kind of uh, clothes that are a bit worn, um, very traveled in, uh, a bit dirty and uh, patched here and there, but still well taken care of. Uh, a long, uh, a kind of yellowish colored uh, cloak, uh, leather gloves, uh, fingerless leather boots, uh, a very wide hat, 
uh, the the voice speaking completely clear of uh, uh, any Ladarian accent uh, is familiar. The man stops. He his eyes widen. He adjusts his hat a bit. You can see the long elven ears, uh, kind of permanently bent slightly downward, just from the pressure of the hat, uh, as the elf stares in shock. Uh, the majority of you have seen him, not in person, but in a dream. The Pontifex. You know him no very way. well. As Aaron Moyer st stares uh, at you guys, and just with a bit of a weak voice just says, Professor? Hey! <laughs> He's like, <laughs> really excited. He's like, you know, had his hands up in like a war stance or to blast things, and he just, all the contention leaves his face. Uh, and he, he is excitedly, very clearly going to disregard this combat and run <laughs> towards his friend. Uh, and it will take him approximately three days to get there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll end the session here. And <laughs> by the time voice. we start with the next <gasps> one, he might be there. Ooh. What? Um, what? Okay. I don't know this guy. <laughs> Everybody else freaking out and enjoying it. Yeah. He, he looks just like me. Oh, I like the kind of his job. <laughs> it is just like another me. You're, you're going to love him. Is, okay. Does he make love with the devil? What? I mean, <laughs> what? I can get it. You heard me. <laughs> Oh, put down the conspiracy bar. I forgot I had this ready. This mini goes hard. I love this. <laughs> yeah, this is... That's a good mini. Oh, he's got theme music! <gasps> ah, he sure does. Oh! oh. <laughs> ah, it goes without saying. Like, the moment he recognized the Pontifex, he, like, immediately lowered his bow. Ah, Pontifex approaching him. Here. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy if Talix is here, yeah. Oh, Concepts no, I'm sad again. Him is, uh, <laughs> he, he smiles at him. Uh, and yeah, uh, Jory, this is uh, the father of the uh, character that is no longer in the party. Oh, well... The, the guy who got sucked through the water portal <laughs> that then yeah, Pontifex blamed no. you for over and over? Yeah, you know, yeah. that guy. This, yeah, this, sure this won't dad. be awkward. This won't be awkward at all. No, oh, hi, fun. Aaron. Your son's in hell. <laughs> He's nice to meet you. Also, would you like you guys to know that when I asked Jason about Aaron's appearance, the one note he had for me was a bigger hat. Big hat. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be big hat. Big, big hat. Bigger than Talix's. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It looks so good. It gives it strong does. One Piece vibes. It actually does. I love it. The slacks. Stylish. <laughs> He's here for that yeast cassette booty. Oh, My okay. All right. <laughs> we know it's true. You can't hide the facts. <laughs> I'm putting it on the board. <laughs> it's going on, on the, the board. board. It's like going on. Oh the no, ball. it's your summary next time. <laughs> oh no. Aaron boinked demon? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> question mark? <laughs> Talix part fish? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> Talix plus Virian equals related? Question question question? <laughs> fish somewhat equal frog. Pontifex equal Virian plus Talix dad? Question question? <laughs> Yeah, it goes deep. Did you fuck that fucking mom on a Did you fuck a fish? <laughs> <laughs> I no. I wrote in my notes. Outsider comes from Plurna, can do magic, can step into the world of dreams, has some sort of fling with Yiskazek. <laughs> I think fling was the invented part. <laughs> but hey, where did I get that from? I mean, I don't he, know. he did make he, talents. He, he my he, boy knows the maneuver. He does live at the, at the tower, Alex. so... 
Oh my god, they're roommates. Alex, so he knows the he knows the dance. <laughs> Indeed, and one thing you know about Aaron, not a virgin. <laughs> he made a child. <laughs> what if he made once. him with the gem of creation? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Plot is still a virgin. Aaron equals virgin? Question. <laughs> Talix is made of gems? <laughs> nah, not with that hat. My man can get it. <laughs> he wears fingerless gloves. Aaron's not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we should just. I should stop streaming before stop something stream. happens to my channel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I told Twitch on my channels for uh, uh, mature audiences, but I... We, we, we've got some sleep. <laughs> too rest, too rest, too rest, too rest. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thanks for the laughs. I, I had a lot of fun today. Yes. Um, yes. Crazy animal shenanigans, frigging thunder mm -hmm. fireball. Um, Very happy to be back. Welcome back, welcome Matt. Welcome back. Thanks for have... designing this encounter specifically with my thunder fireballs in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it to like really no let problem. the player flex their thing they can do. <clears throat> uh, Adrian it. doesn't know who Next this session? is immediately shoots him. <laughs> <laughs> Next session, we're we're all together still. Yep. No more. He's gonna Yay, shoot. Him. Nobody is allowed what? to get sick. Yep, yep, I'll be there. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to take the stream offline now. Bye. 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 Hold on. Music Bye, flourish. Guys. Nice. <laughs>